Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. So, uh, in case you missed last time, uh, the party came upon a small village that was being ravaged by gnolls, and they're in the middle of that battle, uh, and uh, Animus is currently under a sleep spell and is being lugged back to the food cart. Yay. Food They're cart? They're gonna eat him? Why what? am I being lugged back to a food cart? You're a wolf. Because you're a wolf and tasty. They're about and they you. eat humans too, so if you turn out to not be... You know, well, he, good thing he's not a human either. Yeah. As soon as they he, dig in, gonna, bird it's going to be a surprise. Uh, all right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get on <laughs> into it. Sure. You know, human meat is pretty tasty. So Okay, so <laughs> we're at the top of the turn order. Braun, you are first. Oh, shit. Now, uh, you did see these gnolls over here. You saw them go yeah. into the forest, but you don't know oh, where yeah. they are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, grab my sheet there. So we still got the fire and all that. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'll run the eighty feet since I. I think I'm still hasted because we got I got hasted at the start of the combat and it's been like six rounds I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so here. <laughs> to. No, I can. I've got 80 feet of movement. Yeah, but so you go through here and you don't see them. You need to roll a perception check. I saw them heading towards the tower though. Yeah, you saw them heading into the woods. You didn't. Well, okay, whatever. Semantics. We'll say you get over there. <laughs> oh, well. mm. I mean, I, I think didn't didn't Anzu throw a uh, fireball down at them or f firebolt or something too? I think so, but we didn't say if you had seen that or not. But yeah, we'll, I... we'll assume that you heard it at least. Okay, um, and then I'll I'll try and gank the one that's uh, closest there. Okay, roll to see if you hit. Do they? Is this? Um, are they aware of me being over there now at this point? So, uh, yeah, they both notice you. Okay, that's a 21 to hit. That uh, hits. Okay. And that's... <clears throat> this... Wait. So, yay. Yeah, that's all. Sorry, I oh my god, that was really bad. Dude. So many ones. I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> uh, 20. 20 damage. 20 okay. damage with the uh, sort of a freet. Okay. Or, uh, wait. Undyne. It'd have to be Undyne or Undine. Or yeah, it, it, it was Undine, so, yeah. um... I don't know. Do you want me to just re-roll the dice? Because that's what Undine does not have nearly this many anyway. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I think that was just a d6 plus the four. That's <laughs> 21 damage without okay. the... Uh, Minus a D8 and D6. Uh, uh, the and then the, the con, yeah, okay. And then offhand, Rose's Thorn. Yep. Try and stab him in the throat. Oh, no, nah, it's not gonna hit. Uh, 13 to hit. Does not hit. So you go to stab, and then Noel dodges out of the way, and you, Rose's Thorn gets stuck in the door. And then you break it off, and then a small rose yeah. blossoms on the front. Oh. Uh, Zygon. Mm. Oh, I have so another action. I'm hasted. Oh, yeah, you have another action. Sorry, I forgot. Wah. That's another 13 for the main hand. Myth. And that's a natural one in the offhand. Myth. Ugh. That's rough. You, you what a killed way like to stick start. before this, so I know I that's too bad. That's why I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna burn the luck on that. I'm gonna save it. 
So you swing again. The knoll now knows you, and it kind of knows your movement, so it dodges mm -hmm. out of the way, and then you go for another stab, and it backs away, narrowly dodging the blade. Uh, now it's Zygon's turn. All right, we already know Eldritch Blast coming down. And um, on deck. <laughs> at the, the one that's furthest away from Braun. Both beams. Okay. Okay. Ooh, it is... 15 and a 16. Both miss. Tragic. Um, Rough. I'm they going to... They hit two to... patches of grass, and then the grass just withers and dies, and now there's like a giant brown spot in the grass. I'm going to take my <laughs> alchemy jug and pour wine on them from the top of the castle. Grass <laughs> <laughs> now is that an action or a bonus action that was the bonus action well no I'm deciding whether you can do that as a bonus action we both know I can <laughs> yeah what if he just chucks yeah, yeah we'll say well, okay yeah that's fine <laughs> I would say it's around the same as drinking a potion for a bonus action so excellent excellent alright uh, Anzu use your fire nope. Yep. They're flammable. Since there is wine on them. I will now use Firebolt. Okay. Uh, that is 29. Hit. Um, 10. 13. 13. 13 damage? Yep. Which one are you attacking? Uh, whichever one he just dumped the wine on. Uh, okay, so this one. Go ahead and roll an extra d4 for the for the wine catching fire. Oh, 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 oh. Which way, let me know. <laughs> Four. Four. So that's 17? Yes. Okay. Terrific. That was exactly what you needed. So, <laughs> you shoot it, and then it hits him, and then the wine immediately catches fire, and you see the fire just burns and like burns his skull and he can't get it out and you see like the skin start to get taut against the bone as the eyes begin to like liquefy and then he just falls to the ground with the skull on fire we got him. and then uh is cube at that chief yet the one that died earlier uh it's over by uh yeah, it's like north east of Lochnar. yeah it'd be right here no, cube can't move that fast when it's cube. Oh. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Lock for you. <laughs> I wonder what I should do. <laughs> what should I do, guys? You should run away. Tough call. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. Oh, well. Kill him. Should eat him. I'm gonna eat your brains, dude. Dude, bite his ear off like Mike, Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bite your ear off. Um. <laughs> 18. 18 does not hit. But. This is the big one, right? Yeah. Uh, you bootlooker. How Wait, is no, the... this is a normal one, right? Yeah, it's a normal one. Cause okay, he yeah, tried to no, resurrect yeah. it. That hits. That hits. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, okay. so Doing combat over two sessions is is challenging. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't remember yeah, what's going on. I remember that Jacob's currently trying to kill me and get rid of me as a character. I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> the game is trying I to would kill like you. to point out that before we started the session, Jacob literally said, "Yeah, I looked up an interview this week about how uh, this guy explained how he killed off characters." This <laughs> guy, <laughs> George R. R. Martin, is not this I guy. Didn't, I didn't remember who you said. I was just remembering. It makes it better I... context if you say the guy who wrote Game of Thrones. Yeah, the guy who wrote Game of Thrones, <laughs> and how I was po focusing on the fact that you said you wanted to kill someone off, and I'm currently going to get killed off. So, <laughs> guys, I don't want to kill any of you. He's going to be it's like, gonna suck. and then they put you in a cauldron and they fill it up with water. Uh, Jacob, 21 damage on that. What? Yeah. 21 damage on that. 21. Okay, let me see where... Yeah. So you bring down Giant's Bane across... Since this guy's taller than you, across his abdomen. And it cuts true, and you see the intestines start to spill out as the Noel just looks at you with, like, this weird, like, half-smile, half-realization. And then it just falls over. Oh, bye bye so he, he's dead 
Yep, he's dead. Is the other guy over by the tower? Is he within my range? My One, speed's yeah. 50. Yeah. Um, you can do charger if you want. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, I'd like to use charger. Hell okay. yeah. So, Bron, as you're kind of breathing kind of heavy, the two looking above, just kind of, you start to hear, A bunga, motherfucker! crashing through the trees is Lochnar. <laughs> you fucked up now. Oh, shit. He's on goof. Okay, roll to see if you hit. 21! 21 hits. Sick. Twenty. Twenty damage. All right. So you just full on blindside sack this guy and slam him into a tree, which the impact just breaks the tree and you see it fall over. And then you pick him up and slam him down, and the stump that is left from the tree goes straight through him, and you have now made a knoll kebab. <laughs> Taste golf slaps. Golf slaps here. Okay. Hmm. All right, uh, Thea. So what's going on around me? Because I do not. There's know. a giant <laughs> ring of fire. Right. And Animus went this way. Uh, is Did one of my wolves it? still over there? Yeah, your wolf's still there. Ah, uh, yes. But uh, she doesn't currently have line of sight on your wolf. Uh, that's fine. The wolf's coming after me. Yeah. Did I like see him get taken away? No, though? did not. Okay, so I don't know that's happening. Okay, well then. You I'll saw him go. and his wolf go that way, though. Yes, that is true. <clears throat> play, play it okay, how Thea would play it, knowing that I fell asleep. Yeah, that's not... what I'm trying. That's, yeah, that's why I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, what do I know right now? Um, okay, well then I'll run in that general direction that I saw them go around the wall of fire. You get to um, about here. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll a perception check. Thank you. I'm so. I just don't know what's going on right now. Uh, ooh, what was that like? A 13 seven? plus 13, 13. 26. Okay. Let's go. Uh, so you see, you see this wolf, but you don't see another wolf. You have no idea okay. where Animus might be. Do I, Jacob, here's a question for you, for all fairness. Do I look different than those wolves, though? Uh, I was about to ask if there's, like, some sort of markings or something. I feel like I wouldn't well, know the difference. Yeah. That wolf didn't One of them have has its a alpha. Beak. What would it be? Well, then, so <laughs> he's still listening to me, so that wolf on its turn is going to end up moving up and attacking whatever the next uh, knoll is. So, like, okay. realistically... Well, Caleb is the alpha. I, I am Well, so, okay. Let me read the druid description. Because I think it specifically says that, like, your clothing goes into it. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I don't have anything different. I'm just, I, that's what I'm saying. I look at just exactly like that wolf. There's nothing that makes yeah, me Yeah, I'm almost, out. yeah. Yeah, that's true. So she okay, could assume that all. was me. Could. But there's only one wolf. Okay. Yes. As opposed to yeah. two wolves. I'm gonna go ahead and just, so there are gnolls in front of me? Uh, They're blocked by a building. You can't see them. Oh, okay, so I can't see those? No. Well, I don't know what to do then. <laughs> Um, God, this sucks. Burn the whole um, city. I don't. Hold on. <laughs> the Mad King. The Mad King. Yes. Let's burn it all, dude. Thea, the Mad Cleric. I guess. Look, yeah, burn it all. Burn them all. Oh, okay. You know what I'll do? I'll cast Dimension Door, and I'll go. Oh, you can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> sort of <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll go just kind of like in front of that cluster of the three knolls. <clears throat> yeah, I because I don't have to be able to see it. Just like in, or just in there. That's where I want to be. Hang on, I'm seeing if you have to have line of sight. You don't. I promise. She just has to know where it's she just, is. I just, it's just like okay. a vague idea yeah. of where I'm going. Okay, so you want to be like right here. Yeah, that works. That's great. Okay. Oof. I hate, I'm gonna die probably. Are you dimension fine. door? 
Mm -hmm. You see to your Got left speed. a wolf, in front of you a knoll, to the right of you a knoll, and behind you three knolls. <laughs> awesome. okay, I love it. You got, a wolf. Um, you got okay. a wolf coming up to help you a little bit, though. I'll be fine. I haven't taken any damage, so I'm not worried about it. Is that, um, is that a challenge? Immediately no, takes damage from five knolls. don't. <laughs> um, and what can I, can I do anything? Oh, I'll cast a spiritual weapon. Okay. On uh, the one behind me, just the one by itself. What does it look like? Uh, I'm not... Just a giant dagger. Okay. Giant dagger. Let me see if I can. <laughs> just get... really big. Nope. Okay. What a. Do your best. I don't care. Boom. It's a giant marble. Yes. And I can attack him with it. A giant marble is actually a sick giant spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. Oh, big old marble. Oh my god, that's cool. huge. <laughs> Why'd you make it so big? It's not that big. I got the oh. this far. Okay, where do you want it? Right here? Uh, just above, above the one behind me. Just the one by himself, yeah. Sorry. No. Those the are one free. by Maybe himself. He's in yeah. Okay, yeah. There you Sorry. go. Uh, it's not clear. And then what? I'm gonna attack him with it. Roll to see if you hit. Uh, 21. Hit! Hell yeah, and it is. I forget how much the it is. The marble's rolling. Like... It's rolling. Yeah, it's all that. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could make it to where they collide with each other. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be difficult. Nice. Let's see that. Well, just to clean up. Because you can <clears throat> accidentally smack all of the other pieces around. 7 plus 5, 12 damage. 12 damage. Okay. Uh, gotta make a new group. Okay. Running out of paper. Okay, uh, <laughs> hang on. I gotta do something real quick. When you make way too many gnolls. <laughs> uh, I know how many gnolls. I know what I'm about, okay? Guys, gnolls. There's a green guy and a very, very big gnoll. I know. Ooh. Yeah. I could talk how about that. How much damage did you say, Abby? 12. 12, okay. Hunter, if I, right. I do remember correctly, that that last big big knoll was kind of a chump, so uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that dude. Yeah, he had a 23 AC. Well, cube somewhere, he's like chilling. Okay, um, it is now Animus's turn. Cube's. Turn. Okay, it is now no, the wolf turn. Hold on. I just want to see where where am I? Okay, cool. Yep, that's all I want. Oh, to okay. How? What's the wolf movement? Uh, I've got it actually right here. Cool. Um, a wolf's movement is 50 feet. He's gonna come here and try to attack the shaman. The shaman that dragged me away. Uh, what's their uh, what's plus their plus five to, hit? to hit? That does not hit. Dicks. So you see the wolf, uh, Thea. You see the wolf clamp down onto this knoll, and uh, its teeth rub and scrape like nails down a chalkboard against this uh, mail that they're wearing or the, the armor they're wearing. No. Uh, uh, some sort of mail. Okay. Dragon the mail let's see. Wool, null group two is all dead now. How far away we are. <laughs> group three. Okay. <laughs> so far away. So this one's going to come up and try and hit the... Uh, Disadvantage because of my cloak. Oh, because you displace her? Yeah. Okay. She went into this one confidently. Ooh, I rolled a, I rolled a 18 and a natural one. Yeah. Yes. So you see, he goes out and he smacks and it doesn't hit you. And he looks and he's confused. Uh, let's see. Then this one is going to come over here uh -oh. stop. thank you uh he's gonna try and hit disadvantage <laughs> your armor class uh so it's like 15. okay he hits damn it okay you take 12 points of piercing damage as a spear stabs through you 
Two of them. Two Jesus. Uh, here. Love that. And me. this one is going to run through the house. Come up over here to help get this dire wolf loaded into the cart. And then this one is going to come up behind. They can't. So this is a really narrow um, street. They can't go side by side here. Uh, and then this guy is going to cast a uh, firebolt on the okay. wolf. Let's see here, gotta get my firebolt damage. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Okay. Natural 20 on the wolf. The hitting. No. Uh, okay. He is my only hope right now. <laughs> you got a marble. <laughs> well, the good thing is if that wolf dies... 30 damage. That wolf is cr toasted. Alright, well, so the, the wolf's just gonna disappear because it's a fey creature that I conjured, so she'll see that and realize that's not me. Yes. Just a so, Thea, you think, oh no, Animus has just been hit by some severe flames, and then you just see there's no body, there's no like, fur, nothing. It's just gone. <laughs> Thea's panicking. She's... She's so scared. <laughs> uh, She's all, okay, is that all? You thought you had a friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I'll, I'll make a friend. It's fine. Run. Okay. Um. Oh jeez. You zoom in just a tiny bit. Thank you. Um. Okay. So, Bron didn't see them go around that way, but he he knows that there were gnolls inside of the city. So, he's going to head over that way. Um, I'm going to bonus, bonus action dash. So, I get 160 feet of movement. So, around. Uh, like. Is so, that counting haste, too? Yes, that's 80 feet doubled. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, you can basically get anywhere. Yeah, so basically, he doesn't know that they went around that way. He, I don't think he saw any of them head around that side. But I can release a freet and go yeah. into the city, which is the my intention here. So let me see. 10, 20, 30. Help. So yeah, one, 130 feet puts me inside this dead center of the city. And then I can okay. see the Knolls and Thea there and move yep. the rest of it. Do you guys know the Knolls and... already out there? Mm -hmm. yeah. In the oh. bottom corner, yeah. You guys got a long way to go to get to me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, is that... So, uh, now I'm did gonna you say you use dash the bonus action? Bonus action, it's a rogue thing. It is, it's a rogue mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Cunning mm -hmm. action is what it's called. Okay. Uh, understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that a freet has been released, I want to use that instead of undine in my main hand. Um, that's a sixteen to hit with the main hand. It does not hit. And a eighteen to hit with the offhand. That hits. Sweet. Um, it's something. That is... Eight... Plus that. my D8 go? Away. Oh, that's... Wow. Twelve... That's twenty-seven damage with Rose's Thorn. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me, Jacob? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, I didn't hear you with any response. Okay, so you stab him in the back around the kidney area, and you snap the blade off, and you see the black rose once again blossom. 
All right, so now I have one more action. I'm gonna finish this asshole off. Yep, hasting, hasting rogues is so fun. Hasting a tabaxi rogue is even worse because I yeah. can use uh, what is it? Feline agility too. And you can climb stuff too. That is a 22 to hit with the main hand. That yeah, hits. and climb. Um, it's two for that. What's those two? This should do it. Oh my gosh. Five sixes and two ones. Heat. Um, 12. 37 damage. Yes. Yeah. You cleave this guy in half. <laughs> yes. Like, and both sides are singed as it just falls away. And so I'm getting I'm getting both sides of the spectrum. I'm getting really low and really high and nothing in between. Yeah. <laughs> Even with the hit rolls basically. I gone. Okay. How far can Lochnar throw me? <laughs> not, not very because you're you're about That's small. Oh, yeah. Guys, I think I can diminish. What are you talking more. about? I I'm can I can throw him hundreds of feet. I can I can throw him exactly. all the way across. Yeah. No, you can't. I don't <laughs> doubt this man. Shut up. What if I God? I have a potion of feather fall, so like no gravity. Like how far do you think he could throw me? So feather. Mm, okay. Can I enlarge him as a reaction? No. No, that's an, that's an action. I like being big. <laughs> so, you'd have to... You might just have to start running, honestly. I, well, I was I thinking about opening Dimension Door next. Yeah, you can take, like, one person with you if you do that. Oh. Yeah. So... <laughs> Zygon would have to, you would have to drink the potion as you're flying. <laughs> okay, he could do that. <laughs> Make a strength I, check. <laughs> I just I I don't know if that's gonna help much because he can't throw you that far, and it's just gonna take a whole action for you to get about ten feet. Well, hold on. Let's see how far he. You don't can, know that. Maybe maybe get hurt. <laughs> No, because if with the, that potion of feather fall, I don't take any fall damage. As long as okay. <laughs> well, as long as he doesn't like roll a one on his throw and just <laughs> chuck you straight into straight the ground, straight into the ground, <laughs> spike, spike me, spike you. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no way he yeah. throws you more than. Wagner's 30 feet. a big fan of Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> no, Rob Gronkowski is a fan of Lochnar. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> That'd be so sweet if Rob Gronkowski watched the show. <laughs> That's why they call him Gronk, because it's so close to Lock. Lock, not yeah. Gronk. Not. Uh, we have, we oh, have our own language. Gronk he's, he's fluent in giant. Gronk. Uh, Gronk. Uh, uh, okay, uh, what are you doing, Zygon? Uh, you can hold your I actions. Hold... So if, you can hold your action for Anzu to cast a mission door, too, if you want. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. And zoom. But I will also. Oh wait, go I ahead. I also want to pull out my maul. Okay. Yeah. So you just my you just pull weapon. it out at the ready, kind of smack it against it, your hand it just a few times. Appears in my hands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you just. All right. Uh. All right. Very cool. Okay, Anzu, what are you doing? Uh, so dimension oh. door. If I. How many people can I take with me? Just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will... Can I bring Zygon down with me for when I take down the castle? Would have had to move. Did he hold his action? Did. Yeah, he's holding uh, his action, but you can't hold the movement. Okay. Ripperoni. Just head, if... head down there and hold your and... action. That would be a waste of a turn, though. So, like, well, what if, Why what if can't I just spell it, it and the then, like, right the below us? We and fall then, like, into it? Yeah, we fall into it. 
Yeah, you could you could leave it for now and just. Because I don't want to just leave the tower there. It's well, we can come weird. back and grab it. That's true. No one's gonna nobody like, can get the in. The tower it. is bound to you. No one's gonna be able to like. Yeah, it only take it only it. responds to your to your um. Secret, but like, Lockhart doesn't code. even know that like we're about to just poof. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's true. It's about to just yell like. Him to follow hmm? you. Just yell at him to follow you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look over the edge and be. Wait like, for me, guys. <laughs> Boy, I gotta guys. lift you up. You I don't think I have anything to speed him up to. Otherwise, I would. Um, You're making me big it takes up a full action. So yeah. <laughs> I'll look over the edge and I'll just be like, "We're right over there, lock." <laughs> oh, you could do that. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? You could actually do that instead. It's just make him big and let him run, and then you and Zygon Dimension Door next round. If you do, if you enlarge Lochnar, then the haste on Bronn will go away. Bronn's already up oh. there with us, though. But gets two attacks with haste and extra AC. Oh, true. He's yeah, he's been right like now. killing some. I don't know. <laughs> I'm asleep right now, so I, I shouldn't have a say in this. I'm gonna go get another beer. Yeah, go take a nap. Well, so, so yeah. the the other side Shoot. of that is Zygon's like holding his thing. action for the dimension. To... Yeah. yeah. I just... oh, yeah, exactly. The only way that Zygon's action will trigger is if Dimension Door happens, because that was the triggering effect. Yeah. So I'm going to look down and be like, run over the edge, and just like point at the city. And then you guys immediately out. I... Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I will Dimension Door um, probably right next to Bronn. <clears throat> Give me in on the action. <laughs> Okay, so now Zygon, you two appear, psh, and Bronze there, and then you see a Knoll over Bronze. And another cleaved, burning Knoll in front of him. Yeah, a, a carcass <laughs> that is split in two, just sitting in front of him. Nice. Is the head okay? Is the head okay for later? Uh, it's split in two. Ah. Uh. All right, so Zygon, you have your action now. Oh, okay, okay. You said I can't move, though. Yeah, you can't move. Mm. Uh, well, then I guess I'll cast Eldritch Blast since I don't have to move for that. Okay. At uh, this this guy that's right next to Thea on the other side of Bron. Mm -hmm. A twenty-three and a nineteen. Hit. Both. Both hit. Excellent, excellent. Twenty-three damage. Okay. Do so you see the blast pew, pew, into the back of this knoll, and its fur starts to fall out, and its skin starts to pull away, and you see bone underneath, and it it like it starts to like the skin itself starts to like. Uh, blister and it, it just looks gross. Nice. Nice. Uh, with the finger guns. With the finger yeah, guns. Yeah, with the finger <laughs> guns. You gotta holster those things. They're deadly weapons. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I gotta blow it for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Lochnar. So. <laughs> yeah. So, Lachnar Andrew is, said, we just go over him. there, and then he disappeared. Lochnar. <laughs> Everybody just left That's for Lochnar on the other side of the map. <laughs> Yeah, little midget dickhead. Well, whatever. I pointed at the city before I left. <laughs> Leaving me all by myself. Oh, Dechner is big and strong. He can take care of him. Okay. Okay. Um, at least you're not we, asleep. We cared about Dechner. Everybody um, always asks, where's Lochner? Not how's Lochner? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, How far away from the city am I? <laughs> like 150 feet. 70. Like right here is 70 feet. Okay. No. So another. It, it, each box is what? 5 or 10 feet? 10. Each box is 10. Okay. So um, you can bonus action, right? Yeah, he's, so. It takes oh, an, action can use dash. Dash. an action. Yeah, he can use yeah. his action to dash because he has nothing else to do anyway. Yep. I'll be right back. What if he just ran twice? Yeah, I, I, I mean that would be nice. I, I guess I gotta use charger and get as 
physically close to them as possible because everybody left me alone. You know, no big Wait, deal. Can he use his movement action dash bonus action action charger? Is that a thing? No, the action it's no. an action to use charger and a bonus action to use the attack or whatever at the end of it. Uh, oh, it's a bonus action to use charger, but you need movement to be able to use it. Yeah. How how far? So are gonna you lose rage. Charge? Yeah, aren't I? Yeah, you're yeah. still raging. Well, I'm gonna lose rage after this because I haven't hit anybody yeah. during this turn. Yeah, unless someone attacks you. Okay. You could run. So you could like run this however, way. However, however, <laughs> I could, I could do reckless rage, right? Uh, frenzied rage, yeah. Yeah. Which is you know. I would just fun. reuse the rage when you need it. He's out of rage. Actually. Yeah, I'm out of regular rage, but I have. Oh. He I says a... rage. I just imagine Lochnar like sprinting while yelling, and then he gets tired <laughs> right. and he stops. He's just running rage. And then at the end, he's just like. <sighs> Music comes on in the background. <laughs> Let me make sure, because I think you have to have a rage point to be able to go into frenzied rage. Be a buzzkill. Yeah, it's the, the point is over there where they where Anzu pointed. Yeah, that's over yeah. There. You have to have a rage point to be able to use frenzied rage. You dickhead. So have you? <laughs> you haven't raged four times though, right? You've only raged I was, twice. I thought, was, I thought it was two times. I thought I only had two. No, rages you you have four now because of your level. You you can rage four times. Oh, sweet, I didn't know that. Nope. Hell yeah, just run. Run yeah. free run. Keep on running. <laughs> you know? You see the big running, fucker. Running, 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 running. Yeah, you know what? Running, I, running, I wish running, I could running, run right running, now. That would be cool. Okay. We'll be good. Okay, where are you going? Um. Actually, you know what? Lockner. I think Lockner wants more of a challenge. And he's a little butt hurt. So, you know what? I don't think he's going to go by it, <laughs> all you guys. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Lockhart has to prove himself. He's pissed off. Lockhart is pissed off. I think that's what he's that. doing. He's going so right it... for the green dude. <laughs> okay, so this You way... look different, and I. I'm gonna attack you, not because I'm racist, but because you, you're you interesting looking, and I wanna fight you. You know, there's like five gnolls in front of him, right? He just yeah, squeezed. You get, you get right him. there. Right past him. Lochnar so, doesn't care. <laughs> Lochnar, as you're running up, you see uh, this is sort of like the town square. Um, there's current, like, this building right here is a tavern. And then you see uh, there's a few people that, like, their bodies are hung and they're, uh, they're, they're uh, cut from the collarbone down uh, to the abdomen. Oh my God. And they're currently bleeding out. I got a place. And uh, this <laughs> giant shaman here is like writing runes on the ground uh, all around the square in their blood. I'm so done with fucking. Hey runes, nerd, dude. quit writing. Nobody cares. <laughs> the gnolls turn. They were all watching this ritual. They now all turn to you. Oh god, oh, no. definitely gonna have, you have your chance to prove yourself here for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, that's your turn because you had to use a dash action to get up here. Uh, wait, no, you have an extra action for an attack, so you can attack this guy if you want. Excuse me. I got the burps of Lochnar today, that's for sure. So, <laughs> this knoll, uh, one of his ears is, like, half gone. You see he's holding two daggers. He's got scars, like, all over his body. 22. This guy hasn't seen shit. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and roll to see if you hit. I, I rolled a 22. That hits! Yeah, yeah I figured it would. Hell yeah. <laughs> Three. Four. Seven, eight. Nine. And... What's the difference between rage and frenzied rage? I don't think I've ever used frenzied so, rage. Frenzied rage. Uh, so when you're in frenzied rage, uh, 
So you can use an attack as a bonus action. Yeah. Nice. So you would have you would have three attacks a turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. Um, but when you when you exit your rage, you gain a point of exhaustion. Which means. Uh, you have disadvantage on all uh, ability checks. Yeah, fuck it. Until We're doing you frenzy rage. Take a long rest. <clears throat> We're doing frenzy rage. My thoughts exactly. So right you guys, uh, you guys over here in the middle of battle, you just hear a blood curdling scream <laughs> off in the distance. Does that wake me up? Ah. No. Fuck. <laughs> I really. You're trust. under magical sleep. A barbarian yelling louder is not going to wake you up. <laughs> It's worth a try, honestly. Yeah, he's a... trying. Yeah. Very pissing on you probably wouldn't help either. But it's worth a try. <laughs> if you want That's to come fair. try, you can come try. Otherwise, you can come punch me in the face. That'll probably work. Okay. Uh, so. so, go ahead and roll damage. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. So you bring Giant's Bane down, and it sticks in this guy's uh, shoulder slightly, and then he himself just pulls it out with his hand, and the sword yeah. flings back in your grasp. Brownie, take it real tough, don't you? Don't you, big man? Oh, this guy. Big, no thingy. <laughs> Whatever the hell you are. Uh, is, do I have my other two attacks this turn, or is that... No, because you had to use an action to um, to get there with a dash, okay. and then Frenzied Rage doesn't trigger until your next turn. That's fair. Uh, okay, it is now Thea's turn. Yeah. Okay, one second. Your mom. I believe. I'll be right back. Kevin wanted to see me take my turn, but because he's like, "Ooh, I'm into all this stuff too." I've, I've, Kevin. I've just, I've watched. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Kevin in the back. Anyway, okay. So. You'll have another. Turn. Would you say I'm? Being, would you say I'm being flanked by those two gnolls? You're being flanked by these gnolls. Jacob. Gross. Okay. Jacob, zoom in on it. I said Jacob. Yeah. That's oh, hang on, I'm writing. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Why can't um, you do everything? I know, right? The most annoying part <laughs> is that Jacob made the gnolls the same color as the ground. <laughs> oh no, they just came that way. I didn't choose their color. I know. I'm not going to change, like, 60 gnolls colors. Why are there 60, Jacob? Why are there 60 what? gnolls? Did I say 60? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, quite the number. God, I hate you, Jacob. Okay. He had to test us somehow. Um, he's doing a ritual to get more gnolls. By gnolls. accident. <laughs> Okay. Um, which gnome am I facing? This one. The one with the okay. the giant marble floating over it. Right, right, right. Okay. Then I'm going to dab him with my life stealing dagger. Okay. Let's give him a stab. Give him the old poke in the ribs. Um let's see. It probably doesn't hit thirteen. Hey up there. Dang it. I can get it to float. Oh, I'm not using my spiritual weapon. 13 like does not hit. Yeah. <laughs> it floated. <laughs> it's a float ball. Okay, then I will bonus Pick action. Gotta hold a Brady's feather yeah. fall potion. Then I'll bonus action use That's the... Right. Um, I'll bonus action use my spiritual weapon on the same guy. All right. See if that works. Let's see if you hit. 11 plus 9, 20. That hits. Hell yeah. Okay, so it's D8. I already, I already forgot. And I, just... I can't not see that thing as a bubble gum ball, though. <laughs> I, I see it as a giant marble. Hit him with that thing, and it's like a, it's, it looks like a bubble gum ball, but it's a spiritual <laughs> dagger. I'm explaining to him D and D. Um, <laughs> damn, it was just a one, but one plus five, six damage. Six damage. It all helps. It all, helps. all right. Uh. Hang on, I gotta do. I gotta make sure. So that was that one. Wait, oh, I did. Mm. That was an oops on my part. It's like 30 hit points. I gotta make. How much damage? Six? Yeah, six. Okay. 
Uh, it was very disappointing, but <laughs> I tried. Well, you know, every little bit. So yeah, the yeah. the dagger comes down and just goes, Ping! and it like <laughs> digs into him a little bit. You see the holy energy kind of peeling the fur back. Uh, animus. Uh, Wait, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I want to take my uh, my turn, Jacob. That's Action. so funny. I rewrote the uh, I rewrote the initiative order on a new page, and I didn't even include animus in it. <laughs> That's cool. even. Abby, I like your well, You're about to today. have to add it in. All right. Thank you. It's very Fina-esque. Right. Does this count as moving, a long rest on. for him? Yeah. For Does it count as mm -hmm. what? A long. Uh, uh, does this count as a short rest? No. A short not. rest. Um, asleep. We'll figure it out when you wake up. I hate <laughs> this so much. You're so <laughs> relaxed. Fucking wake me up. This is some bullshit. Okay. Uh, the Knoll's turn. Okay, so. Uh, Anzu, you see two gnolls come over to a cart that's sitting here, uh, carrying a giant wolf yes. body. Thank God, <laughs> thank God someone saw me. <laughs> and they slam it down into this cart, and the cart is full of dead bodies in different states of mangled. Like, there's, uh, there's random arms sticking out, there's blood pouring out of the back. Gross. And when... When the wolf hits, it makes like this squish noise, like squish. Maybe they think you're dead. Probably just some local wildlife. I wouldn't pay too much attention Bro. to it. I could just leave you in there, and you would just sleep for a very long time. Uh, so the spell only lasts a minute, and it has been six, oh, yeah. rounds, six rounds since uh, the spell was cast. So... I'm uh, it's over halfway done. That's, that doesn't matter. I was asleep for like an hour last time. I've been asleep for an hour and ten minutes this time, so. <laughs> I mean, can I yell really quick that I think I found the missing dog? <laughs> sure. The gnolls now turn to see you. Uh, and this one's going to run up to you and attack you. This is your armor class? Um... I have Cloak of Displacement, and then my armor class is 14, but I'm also going to use Shield. This okay, a... uh, so Shield gives you a plus 5, right? Yes. Yeah, I can't you use it as a reaction, so you may not have to use it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I won't use it right now. I'll wait. Okay, so I rolled a 19. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... There you go. <laughs> uh, but if even if you do raise your... Um, if you raise to a 19, I still hit you because right. it hit your armor class. Right. But well, it was that a spell advantage? slot. Yeah, it would spell. It would use a spell slot. No, like, cause I have cloak of displacement. Yeah, I <laughs> rolled. I rolled a 15 and a natural 20. <gasps> oh. Okay, this is gonna dice that well, I guess there's no me. point in using shield. Okay. No. Uh, so you take. You Some take uh, 11 background. points of piercing damage as a spear drives into I'm your right. shoulder. Uh, <laughs> then this one is going to stand in front of the cart, kind of guarding the cart. That's cool, that's cool. That's uh, let's see here. It is now this group's turn. Okay, so this one's going to attack Lochnar. <laughs> Buckle he in. Hits. Okay. They're all Blacknar, you take effect. eleven points of slashing damage, halved because you're raging, so you take six points of slashing damage. Okay. He's then going to try and bite you. Uh let's see here. That would taste very good. I haven't showered in literally years. He's gonna try <laughs> so he looms over you, he's about a foot taller than you, so he bends over and he gra he tries to bite at your shoulder. And you dodge out of the way. You dodge your shoulder out of the way. And as his mouth goes in front of you, you shoulder check his mouth and it knocks him back. And he just kind of wipes away some of the blood from his nose. Uh, then this one is going to come through this street. And he is also going to attack you. Uh, he does not hit. So he jabs at you. And you actually, uh, because I rolled a natural one. 
you he jabs at you and you just flex and when the spear hits it splinters and shatters <laughs> you're gonna need a stronger uh, spear than that boy <laughs> and then and this one's gonna go here and then you see that the the shaman is continuing to write with the blood um i'm so done with runes dude so done. <laughs> hey, buddy, did your mom not hold, like, hug you when you were little or something? Is that why you're, like, decapitating people and, like, painting with their blood? I mean, you know, I I get it. My, my dad didn't love me that much either, but, I mean, come on. Painting with blood? That's a little fucked up, bro, don't you think? <laughs> these these two gnolls actually kind of, like... <laughs> <laughs> they laugh oh at me. God. They laugh. They laugh at your joke. They think it's yeah. funny. <laughs> They're laughing. Uh, Bron. Bron. Um. He's going to <clears throat> yell at Zygon to uh, help help Thea. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna help uh, Anzu in the back line. So I'm gonna turn around and jump at the one that's attacking Anzu behind me because I could hear everything happening back there. Roll to see if you hit. I will just... Alright. Didn't work. Um, 16 to hit. 16 to hit. Yep. There we go, that works. Uh, that does not hit. I thought Check so. Check it out. He's asleep. <laughs> the... <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. Offhand. Thanks, man. Welcome. <laughs> Offhand was a 10, so that misses, but uh, that well. haste, I'll use my second action to yep. keep swinging at this guy. Yeah, just Ron a fury of manic. sword, Anzu. As, as this knoll looms over you, you see the cloak of Ron get in front of you and just a flurry of blows. I get hearts in my uh, eyes. <laughs> uh, 22 to hit with the hit. main hand here. Uh, 29 damage with the sort of a freet. Did you hit with Rose's Thorn? That was the sort of a freet. That was the main hand. Yeah, now I'm saying roll to hit with oh, the other one. Oh, okay. I didn't. I thought you were asking if I hit with Rose's Thorn. No. Uh, 17 to hit. That does not hit. Dang. That's um, hella highs. Yeah. I'm not rolling very well for the hits either. I've missed more often than not, even with a plus eight. All right, so, uh, Anzu, oh, you're currently back that's on That's an the 18. Ground. I have a plus nine now. Oh, that's well, an 18 that to hit. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I just happened to glance down as I said, I've only got a plus eight. Uh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, I don't know why I rolled that again. So, that's, uh, that... Uh, 25 damage with Rose's Thorn. So, the Knoll, anticipating your blow, dodges out of the way, but you anticipate that he'll anticipate, and you <laughs> are going, and then you do a quick jab to the left, and you get him in the ribs, and you break the blade off. He then looks at you, kind of confused, it didn't hurt much, and then you see... <coughs> and blood comes out of his mouth splattering all over you and Anzu Ugh. as the f the rose begins to grow across his body until the thor the uh, roots of the rose come out of his eyes, ears, and mouth. Ugh. Okay. That is uh, Bronze turn. Zygon. Yes. That motherfucker. Alright. Zygon is gonna casually stroll up to this, <laughs> uh, this one in front of me. Dagon whistling, twirling his his <laughs> mace or whatever. Exactly, the mall. The mall. Yeah, the mall. And he's gonna he's gonna give it a he's gonna give it a swing, and I get two packed attacks. Yes. Excellent. Okay, roll to see if you hit. Uh, so I never like actually like physically swing anything. Ah. What do so I you'll add this? your proficiency bonus plus your strength. 
or is it just proficiency? What proficiency? I always get oh, proficiency. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so proficiency is, uh, sorry, the bonus and what? Uh, your strength. Strength? Hmm? Which is a one now. We're in there. Hey, he's getting strong. Yeah. He's been making gains. <laughs> like, I'm getting That's right. swole. Been working out. So one's a 24 and one's a nine. 24 hits. Excellent. Excellent. So that does... Has Zygon taken damage? Uh, not from this. It was from the earlier battle, and then we got drawn into this. Then it won't trigger yet. Okay. This doesn't say... Doesn't say what? Like, what I roll for damage? It should. Mm -mm. It just says if I've taken damage, then it does 1d12. Do extra damage. Uh, a maul is 2d6. Go ahead and mark that on the card. Okay. Uh, it does 9. 9 damage. 9 damage. So you swing. Boom! Crack! as the back of the knee just explodes out towards the front of the knee, and you actually see that you have dislocated this uh, Noel's knee cap, or knee, I guess. I capped him right in the knee? Capped him. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then it also says when I deal damage with this, I take half that damage. Yeah, so you dealt nine, so you heal four, Or I take... You heal five. five. It's not healing, it's, it's I take damage. Oh yeah, you take damage, I forgot about that, yeah. So then on my next attack, I will have taken damage and I do the additional Yeah, damage. so now it'll trigger, yeah. Okay. Excellent, yeah, I, excellent. I, I like made it well, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it triggers itself in case they're not hitting. It's pretty cool. Nice. Alright. Okay. Uh, and then as my bonus action, Yeah. I will cast Expeditious Retreat. Okay. So now I'm allowed to take the dash X action as a bonus action for 10 minutes. Okay. Does that count towards this turn or is it next turn? Uh, that would be my next turn because that was my bonus action was doing. Okay, that. cool. Uh, it is now... So you cast that spell and you feel yourself kind of lighter and you feel a little bit more agile. You're like bouncing on the ball for your feet a little. Uh, Anzu. Uh, do I know what is needed to wake someone up from sleep? Uh, you would need to dispel the spell. Can't you hit him too? You can also hit him. Yeah, you could just smack him. Okay, I'm gonna use magic missile, and two of them are gonna go at the uh, null, and one of them's gonna go at animus. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's so happy to get hit by oh me. Oh my god! Is an auto crit like, on a sleeping target? <laughs> <laughs> Might actually so, do something about that. Hang on. No, I, I no. probably just put <laughs> rage quit already. I would have rage quit already. So <laughs> that's seven on the null, and then oh, sorry, man, four on animus. That's fine. It's to my wolf body, not my real body. Oh, yeah. that's true. And then Bron, if you're okay, I might dimension Doris next to Lochnar after this. You do whatever you need to. You don't know where Lochnar is. I'm do yeah, I know, like, true. his general area? Like, I heard you would him know, run by. like... Yeah, you could he know heard his general the... area from that screen. Roaring in the distance, that's what we know. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go there, because I know Roaring in the distance and Lochnar doesn't go that way. <laughs> and now that <laughs> Animus is, is awake, they can probably take care well, of this. Well, am I awake? Hang on. He's looking it up. Yeah, you awake. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Uh... You, you feel this, like, psh, hit your side, and you open your eyes to see multiple corpses around you. Um, squishy, squishy. And you are currently, like, laying on your side. I'm gonna blow up the whole town. Everyone. It's all gonna get blown up. <laughs> Fuck Jacob. I'm blowing up the whole campaign. <laughs> it's all over. Uh, the seven damage. Okay. Uh, it is now... Lochnar's turn. Okay, so I, I just had this this thought out of the top of my head. 
Is there uh, any way I could like convince a few of these gnolls to like come onto my side, or are they just you know, <laughs> they're just, are they just mind husks? You know, can they be uh, reasoned with? He tries to because they they seem to they, they seem to think I'm funny. They seem to think I'm roll funny. Roll a uh, that's fair. No, you should challenge the elf. Okay, so roll a history check. Uh, <laughs> being part of a, a roaming Goliath band, you probably would have run into some gnolls before, so you might know a little bit about them. Yeah, these is that, is that wisdom? The alpha. Uh, I believe history Pers is... Persuade them. It's intelligence. It's intelligence. Well, I, it's I have intimidation. Oh. I have, I'm pretty sure I have, I have plus five intimidation. So this is to see if you remember that you might be able to turn them. So go ahead uh, and roll I, a I got history. You. Hey, Jacob, I have a quick <laughs> question for you. Yeah. Five. So one thing about uh, beast shape is if you go unconscious, you revert to your true form. Yes. Am I back to my true form then? Because I was technically unconscious. Yeah, so you were technically unconscious. Okay, so I'm not a giant wolf. I'd be animus right now, just for future reference of understanding yeah. that yeah, I thought. But it knock meant, him over still. Yeah, I knew it was if I <laughs> dropped to zero hit points, I would revert, but I didn't know if it, a sleep spell includes that. <laughs> He's upside down. Okay. Uh, so, Lockdart, oh, you might be able to. You know, you've met some gnolls in your time. Does it count as an action if I, you know... If you try and intimidate, intimidate one of them? Yeah. Yeah, that's an action. Okay. It might work better after you decapitate one of them in front of his friends. You're right, you're right. <laughs> let, me, let me just... Let me just chat with them real quick, and then I'll get to fight. Just be like, <laughs> show me to your leader. Hey, uglies. Like, you three. <laughs> as in a collective ugly. Like, not just one, not just two, but all three of you. You ever get the feeling that you're, you might be, you know... You might not enjoy, you know, working with Gacy over there or whatever. <laughs> you, you know, it, it, it might be in your better interest if you just, you know... I don't know, lay down your arms and just, you know, go be free or whatever. You ever think about that? <laughs> like, what's your motivation, bro? Make a persuasion check. Oh, boy. That's the greatest thing ever, though. That, no, that's charisma, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nine. <laughs> they all just kind of look at you. And they, they do that thing that dogs do where they turn their head sideways. Um, <laughs> and then they just like, <laughs> they just smile and they start, <laughs> they start laughing at you again. But uh, it doesn't seem as though they have been uh, swayed, swayed by your words. Fair enough, fair enough. Your funeral, whatever. All right, let's get, get let the, let's get to decapitating. I can't eat, right. wait to eat you your innards. Attacks. Amazing. Twelve. Does not hit. Yeah, figured. Alright. Also kind of cramped on this rage. desk here. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Hits. Yeah, I figured it did. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll damage. Remember to add your rage damage plus your strength. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. And that's to the guy that I already hit before. Yeah. Okay. So you slam your sword down going from his right or yeah his right shoulder uh, across his chest and you see blood just start to pour out He's still standing though. dude All right. I literally gave you the option to just you know quit this this thing we're doing come on dude I don't want to kill you you don't want to die come on bro you have one more attack Nothing. whatever whatever okay I'm gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> It is six seconds, and he's talked so much. Yeah. Hey, he's a fast talker. He's oh, 17. He talks 17. 17. Not hit. Fuck you. 
<laughs> so uh, you slam back, and they're they're still listening to your words, but it seems as though they just think they're funny. And you swing <laughs> down, and he dodges out of the way. Uh, it is now Thea's turn. Okay. Oh, because he was funny uh, too. What about uh, uh, what's his face getting back in the initiative? Yeah, he's last. <laughs> he's after Thea. What's his face? <laughs> uh, uh, are me and Zygon flanking that one? Null? Yes, this one is being flanked. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to stabby stab. Okay. Um, and since we're flanking, do I have advantage? Uh, yes. Hell yeah. This one actually would probably be even... Oh, they were so bad. So I'm going to use my elven accuracy feat and we roll, or roll an extra roll. Okay. Whatever it is. Uh, so first one is... 13 plus 6, that whatever hits. that is, 18. Okay. Um, that was my life stealing dagger, the okay. first one. Uh, so let's see. Shit, how much is it? A d4 plus 2d4 in the product. So 2 plus 6 is 8. Um, do I add anything to that? Just the straight damage. Do I add my like, dex? Yeah, you add your dexterity. Okay, um, so it's 8 plus 2, so 10. I can't do math. And then I healed the necrotic damage, right? Question mark? Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm just making sure I don't remember how this works. Cool, love that. Um, so if he takes 10 damage from that roll, and then offhand, I would have disadvantage, right? Oh, wait, and I didn't do sneak attack. Uh, you okay. can't. You can't do sneak attack. Uh, I think only Michael can do. Yeah, I I get it for being block, block in player. combat with someone alone, basically. Yeah. But Brady's in five feet of him. I have advantage on the attack, so I should have sneak attack, right? Hang on, let me double check. I hate rogue sneak attack. It's so. Pretty sure that's how that so works. Good. It's so good. Hang on. Yeah. Let me double I'll check. I'm gonna get a snack with the sneak attack. <laughs> uh, also, uh, we're at the halfway mark too, so. Okay, let, uh, once we get this, well, yeah. we'll get through the initiative order and then we'll take a break. Well, I was just going to say on my turn we can take a quick break before I start. Uh, I'd rather just do the initiative. Okay. That's just once... simpler. Right. Um, I can do sneak attack if I have advantage on the roll, is what it says. I, that okay, sounds, yeah. yeah. It's in just the regular rogue thing, I promise. Yeah. So annoying. I hate rogues. Do you hate There's rogues a reason or counterspell more? So... Both. <laughs> plus, it's just plus two, so it's just 12 total for that one. Okay. And then I'm going to do my offhand, and that one would have disadvantage, so it's just a regular one, yeah. right? Yeah. Cool. I'm just making sure I'm doing it. 10 plus 6, 16. Does not hit. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Animus. All right, I'm going to wake up. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to kind of edge myself off of the back of the cart. Take a little... Okay, you are drenched in blood. Cool. I'm going to take a little gander of what's happening around me. Get a little bit pissed. There's a big knoll right in front of you. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast... Does he see the other one? As a bonus action at fourth level, I'm going to cast Guardian of Nature. Okay. Um, and Guardian of, of Nature, I'm going to cast it as Giant Tree. Your skin appears barky, leaves sprout from your hair, and you gain the following benefits. You gain 10 temporary hit points. You make constitution throws at an advantage. You make dexterity and wisdom-based attack rolls at advantage. When, you're, when you are on the ground, the ground within, you, within 15 feet of you is difficult terrain to your enemies. You yeah, that's not your handbook, is it? What? That's not in the player's handbook. I don't believe so. That's from another one. Uh, yeah. We can look that up during... Or you can look that up just so you have the stats for the at the halfway mark. But I'm going to now use um, uh, Produce Flame on... No, I'm going to use Ice Knife. I'm going to use Ice Knife on the guy in front of me. Okay. So you guys see the Knoll doesn't notice, but you, uh, Braun and Anzu, you guys notice... Uh, your kinku friend crawl out of the cart, smeared all over in blood and other viscera, 
uh, and you see in his hand uh, a, a blade, like the water vapor in the air starts to coalesce into the shape of a blade. You also see leaves sprout from my, my head. From his feathers, because he doesn't have hair. Yeah. Alright, so I make an attack roll with advantage. Uh, 18 to hit. Okay, that hits. Alright, and then... 1d10 piercing damage. Uh, 6. Uh, hit or miss, the shard then explodes the target... So I got six damage on piercing damage. The target and each creature within five feet of it uh, must make a dex saving throw. Okay, so make a dex save. Me? Yeah. Oh, am I five feet of it? Okay. Yeah, you're within five feet because you're stabbing it. Cool, cool. Uh, dex saving throw. Do you get throw, advantage? 18. Okay, you succeed. I fail. Okay. Uh, I get only advantage on... Uh, I get advantage on constitution saving throws. Advantage on de uh, dex attack rolls. Uh, ah. uh, and they... Uh, fail takes 2d6 and a... Or, yeah. Fail takes 2d6 and a save takes 2d6 halved. I think. Oh, no, no, no. If, uh, a, a save ta doesn't take any damage. 5 damage. Cold damage. Okay. Hey. You stab him, and he turns to you, and then the ice explodes, uh, sending shards up, all up in him. Nice. Uh, okay. Is that your turn? It is. It's my turn. Okay. So he's going to turn around, and he is going to attack you. Cool, cool. He does not hit. Sweet. Okay. Then this one is going to come over here. I need... Oh, jeez. Okay. Sorry. Everybody's here, right? I can't see you on the on my screen. Yeah. Wrong. Yep. Okay. Because this is about to get... No. Okay. Uh, Crazy for who? Everybody and Gabriel standing in a straight line. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60... Not me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you get for 60, being a free 70, thinker? 80, 90. Okay, it goes the entire distance. Okay, I need uh, Anzu, Braun, Zygon, and Thea to make dexterity saving throws. Counter spell. Uh, make a perception it. check. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I have limited space. <laughs> I got a natural 20. Chico's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so mad right now. <laughs> Suck it, God. <laughs> you can just hear that Jacob's mad because he's not saying anything. I didn't really expect it to get a good roll. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's, he's, silent. Silent. He's, <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. No. Okay. He's one of my. Pure, he's pure he's pure rolling a thousand life. dice. He's counting up all the numbers. <laughs> oh god. Best. It's okay. okay. For us, it's okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, I need you to roll a, a save. Okay. What do I, I roll? roll? Mine. I'm just. Roll a, you roll a d20, a flat d20. Wait, does he not add... see that it's happening so he can use Yeah, it? but it's a higher level than counterspell, so he has to roll a oh, DC. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, what level is it? It's level, uh, you don't know. <laughs> it's level <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, well, no part of oh. it. Whatever. And what okay. was I supposed to be? Just a flat d20. What did you roll? 19. <laughs> I think it's a good time to take a break. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, you see lightning begin to pop oh, uh, around the alley that you guys are in. <laughs> Anzu just holds up a middle finger to the DM's face. <laughs> <laughs> and the lightning stopped and the, the shaman kind of looked around confused. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then this one is going to come down here. 
Okay. I need. <laughs> Wait, that's part of the map. Out of the corner yeah, of Lochnar's eye, there's he, like a he, he turns right here. and he sees Anzu and he gives him a thumbs up. Okay, I need <laughs> uh, Animus Brawn and Anzu to make dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Jesus, it's not good. It's not good, Jacob. Jacob's um, gonna have it for us when we get back from the break. This is why alcohol is good during these things. I have a um, ten. I rolled a. I got a fourteen. Ten. 14, what, uh, Bron, what'd you get? 17. Uh, Animus, what'd you get? Uh, 10. It's a 10, I'm pretty sure I don't get a save against this. Okay, uh, so Bron, you actually leap out of the way into this part. Uh, Jacob, is he within 15 feet of me? Yeah, he's right behind you. Okay, he's on difficult terrain within 15 feet of me. So once he, That's... well, I'm just yeah. saying, once he hit the terrain, he would lose all, like he would lose half of his movement. So how far did? He yeah, move? he'd still be able to make it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably about to die. Jacob's <laughs> <laughs> gonna kill me. <laughs> Okay, Braun, you take 15 points of lightning damage. Animus uh, and Anzu take dex. 30 points of lightning damage. It's a dex, right? <laughs> yeah. The evasion. I succeeded okay, yeah. and take no damage. Yep. Okay, so Animus and Anzu take 30 damage. That's fine. Jesus. Fine. You got, oh, also this Null. I forgot to roll the dexterity save for the Null. Oh, he had a natural 20. Cool. So he ducks <laughs> into this house and only takes 15. Nice. How much damage? Uh, what? How's he not dead yet? He's not dead. He had health. Uh, yeah. So that, and then these guys. Okay. So this guy's gonna roll to see if he hits Zygon. He does not. Hit me. Hit roll me. To see if he hits Thea. It does not. Advantage. Okay. Now over to these guys. This one's going to try and attack Lochnar. Lochnar, what's your armor class? Team plus two. It, it doesn't change, right? It never changes, like, with leveling up, right? If you get dex. If you increase dex, it goes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so what was it? 14 plus 2, so 16. 16. Okay, so he hits on... Uh, you his... sure you want to do this? I, I'm yeah, your buddy. Uh, we're, we, we got a good repertoire going. <laughs> Blocknar, you take word. 4 points of damage, halved, because you're raising, raging, so you take 2. Um, okay. He's now going to try and bite you. He hits on the bite, so he's biting. He bites into your shoulder, and you take seven points of piercing damage halved, so you take four, and then you take you take ten points of poison. Well, actually, no. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Not a natural 20, but a 20. Okay. Uh, so you take five points of poison damage. What? As you no. see, his teeth are like, are coated in like this weird, like green sheen. It needs a dentist. <laughs> uh, let's see. And these three aren't going to move. This one's fine. And you see the shaman still, uh, this one's going to attack. Still painting in blood. Okay, this one misses. This one can't do anything. So he's going to actually come around here. Okay. Well, with that, <laughs> I believe we will take a short break. <laughs> For the top like of the turn you. order. I like we'll take a shot. The camera. It's Braun's turn. <laughs> it's Braun's turn. So. Oh, wait. Anzu, I need you to make a concentration check. Oh, fucking Christ. Well, I think my good <laughs> rolls are done. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, were rolling pretty hot there for um, a second. Yeah. Nice. I got 11. So I'm going to go okay, through. Okay, uh, let me double check. Okay, so yeah. So, Braun, uh, as you dodge no. out of the way. 
Oh no. You feel yourself become heavier and you slow down ah, a little. I feel like a peasant again. Oh. <laughs> Easily. Are his arms heavy? Please me. Is there possibly ah, Vaughn like... on his sweater already? Is it possibly spaghetti? Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti? So the the guy um, at the bottom of the street got counterspelled, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then Ron would have only seen the one in by Animus casting, and will target that uh, caster specifically. So he's gonna speed run and uh, like jump over Animus and try and stab at this thing with both blades. Roll to see if you hit. No. Not to be that bitch, but apparently when haste ends, you are stunned for a round. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah. I love watching. when the rules lawyer sides with the DM. Oof. I'm sorry, it's just I can't. It's especially I bad. Know that. It's so tasty. It's especially bad when uh, I just make it's it's as I make an awesome attack roll. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I didn't mean fine. to be that bitch. No, do rules lawyer things. I enjoy. Mm, it's it tastes so good. Uh, let me double check. <laughs> yeah, you can't move or take an action until your next turn. No, okay, so it would have triggered before Bronze next turn. So this technically okay. is his next turn. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's okay. true. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Sweet. I just wanted to make sure. Thanks. Now I know who who to look out for. <laughs> DM? Uh, that was a 28 yeah, Zygon to hit. has remained silent. That hits. With the, the Freet. Yep, that hits. Let's see. Uh, 21. 21 the main to hand. damage? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Lots of ones and twos in there. Offhand, uh, 22 to hit. That hits. There's Wait, no, it doesn't. Rolls. That does not hit. My bad. 22 doesn't hit. Ugh. 22 does oh, not hit. Oh, it's another one of these assholes with dragon armor. Yeah, so the first one got through because of the flames, but the second one you stab, and it catches in this green scale armor. Uh, you're going to hate me, but the roll was a 14. And okay. I, I have a plus nine. It's a 23. That hits. Yeah. Man, guys, just like <laughs> I'm DM sorry, I did. One, I forgot. I just want you to understand that, like, it's not <laughs> only about you guys having fun. Like, <laughs> this is about everyone having fun. Jacob, you just yeah, almost I'm not having... you again. I just want to point that out. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Roll damage. Rose's thorn. Uh, oh boy. Uh, 19 damage. 19. So you stab clear through the chest, and this shaman falls to the ground dead. Yeah. A small rose growing from his body. Ah. Okay, it is now Zygon's turn. Braun is like rabid at this point. <laughs> Just going there. Alright. Yeah. Zygon is going to dip out of there, and he's going to run with his dash uh, between Lochnar and that uh, that other knoll over there. Right here? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Can't let uh, Lochnar have all the fun. So, okay, so if you want to make it there, you have to run through this one. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, he gets an attack of opportunity on you. What's your armor class? Uh, 14. Hits. Okay. So as you're running by, you take 10 points of piercing damage as the spear catches you in the calf. How many? Uh, how much was it? 10? 10. Yeah, 10. 10. 10. All right. We good. We good. Okay. All right. Now he's going to pull that maul back out. Yep. And swing at this dude. Awesome. Ah, it's 
a 14 and a 10. 14 and a 10? Uh, yeah, it was not miss. so great. Tragic. Um, Alright, that's it. Okay. Uh, it is now Anzu's turn. Um, I will cast Chromatic Orb at the null below me. Um, this one? Yeah. Okay, roll to see if you hit. What uh, element are you using, also? Um, I'll use fire. Okay. Uh, so I got 22. 22 does not hit. Oh. Um, I'm gonna run to the left. Okay. <laughs> Which uh, way you wanna run? That way. Okay, so get uh, right here. Yeah, and then I'll drink a health. You got little tiny legs. Yeah. How much is a minor potion of healing? Uh, it's like we made. Uh, four D four plus four. Plus four. Okay. Cool. I'll drink one of those. I believe, or it's two D four. Hang it's, on. I think I'm. I think it's two D four. Let me double check. Because we originally thought it was four D four and had it wrong. Four D four is a lot of D four. Yeah. Uh, it's two D four plus two. Okay. That your turn, Anzu? Yep, that's everything. Lochnar's turn! <laughs> Dudes! Come on! <laughs> I, your, your buddy's bleeding out. He, he's literally bleeding out, and it looks delicious. But I don't want to kill y'all. Come on, use some common sense. Eh. Nothing? Okay, whatever. Alright. It's okay, killing yeah, time. Persuasion check. Oh, okay. <laughs> Natural two. Natural two. Yep, neither of them are swayed. Nice. You dipshits. <laughs> Oops, please. Don't Smash say I didn't warn you. Smash them. It'd be funny if they ate the literally. Second. You didn't warn us. Um, 23. Yeah, that hits. Hit. I don't. I don't need God to tell me. Twenty. <laughs> Any damage? Okay. Twenty damage. So you swing, and you cleave that Noel's head off, and it rolls to the ground. Yes. <laughs> Dagon just walks over. For once, I... I... <laughs> All right, you have another For attack. For once, I kind of feel bad. I don't feel that bad, because he was attacking me, but, you know. I feel a little. Just, just a little. Just a little. <laughs> you have two more attacks. He laughed at my jokes. What can I say? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, Zero. That hits. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one damage. Nice. All right. So you, you actually chop the ar the left arm off of this knoll. Nice. Alright, and I got one more. <clears throat> Jacob, I got one more. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Brave Sir Knight, I've cleaved, cleaved your arm off. You, I, I've won this battle. D don't Special. fight no more. He's literally winning this alone right now. <laughs> like, Just diplomatically, we too. We don't even need to be there. Like, he's really trying to help these guys out, too. It's very... I don't want to do this! It's the best I've seen. I love this. <laughs> I know. 
What can I say? Ragnar feels a kindred <laughs> spirit with these raiders. Character development. 19. 19. Okay. Uh, to hit? That hits. Or is that damage? I'm gonna do this. That, that, that's, that's it. Okay, that, yeah, that's, that hits. Uh, attack roll. I don't want to do this. Do it. I mean, you don't. Have, you can do non-lethal damage. No, no. Do long, do lethal damage. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's no, more. No, fun. Lockdown doesn't understand. That Lockdown doesn't understand the term non-lethal. Yeah, that's good. That is very. <laughs> it's true. really not in his vocabulary. <laughs> Twenty again. Hey, okay. uh, so you cut this Knoll's head off as well. And it rolls to the ground. Oh. Bye -bye. Yes. He's just walking in. Please, I don't want to do this. Shh. Guys, stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's very true. In half. You're, how's, how's his sword feel about that, hey. Jacob? So, hey, Ted Bundy over there. Oh, no, you go You go first. Sorry. Go ahead. Go. You're fine. Ted Bundy over there. You see what I'm doing to your buddies? I don't want to do this. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, Lochnar, you see the runes uh, that this uh, creature has been drawing start to kind of pulse. Oh, no. Um. Don't go in. Get out of there. <laughs> uh, it is now Thea's turn. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. This is why I drank. <laughs> This guy, this guy by Thea. Thea, though, he's, like, rotting, and he's also got a bad knee. Like, just finish this guy up. <laughs> Him cornered. Um... Sweep the leg. That's right. Uh, uh, um... Oh, no, Jacob, what are you doing? Oh, fuck. Don't pay attention yeah. to it, it's just a uh, thing. I can't help. That's Is that hard an army? to Jesus pay Christ. attention to. Jesus Christ. I hate you so much. Okay, um... Uh, okay, Thea's the feeling say, We're not choking you. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna. Oh, so keep that oh. out of here. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Alright, I'm cool. So I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians and just. Uh, hey. I'm scared. Spirit so Guardians. the two null make wisdom saving throws. Okay. Anything else? Did they make wisdom saving throws? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was... Uh, no? No, neither of them succeed. Okay, so, um, then they take, what is it, like, 3d8 damage? Let me double check. Um, yeah, 3d8 radiant damage. 3d8, okay. Go ahead and roll that. Oh, hell yeah, okay. 8, 6, it's... 14, and then uh, plus 4 is 18. Um, and then with my bonus action, I'm gonna stabby stab that one with the spiritual weapon. That's There's no need. So oh. your spirit guardians begin to coalesce around these two, and you see purple flame begin to envelop their body as they are both reduced to ash. Oh, thank God. Okay, then can I... I can still move my, my spiritual weapon. Yep, like 20 and it floats, kind of. Can I get okay? I can get to him. Uh, yeah, you can move it over here. Cool. Can I attack it? Yep. Attack it with it. Exciting stuff. Ooh, natural fifteen plus nine, so twenty-six, twenty-four. Okay, hey, that hits. Cool. Yeah, there's what so it? it's a much city. <clears throat> Why is there Jacob? Jacob. Jacob. What did you? Jacob. you did too much. I disagree. Why would so, you many you ruins, off, so, so many ruins, dude. So many ruins. We could have just walked away from this. Ten damage. I, I voted one. for that. Well, we got pulled into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah we weren't very sneaky. Natural. Yeah, that's right. It was okay. my natural one. Ten damage. Okay. okay. That was a really good round for me. Okay. I'm done. Now. Okay. Oh wait, no. Not, wait, can I run? Yeah, you can move. I want to move towards the guy with my spiritual weapon. Other way. Just in that gym. Yeah. yeah. Just somewhere else <laughs> would be great. That's fine. Okay. I want to see what's going on. That's good. Okay. Done. Uh, it is now 
Animus' turn. Oh, is there a guy in front of me still? There's a dude right here in this house. Does Do I know he's there? Yeah, he's hurt. You do know he's there. Yeah. Saw him jump in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a step next to him and be like, this is the end for you. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, how hurt is he looking? Pretty, pretty messed up. Okay. Like, part of it, like half of his body is like shard from that Father? lightning bolt. Okay. Yes, son. I want to kill you now. Uh, produce flame. Um, getting an advantage on attack roll. I got a twenty-six to hit. Hits. Two d eight. Uh, six damage. He's still standing. That's cool, that's cool. I'm not gonna use my warlock stuff, not yet. I'm not ready for it. Okay. Uh, as an advantage, though, I am... Ooh. No, yeah, yeah, I can do this. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, Shillelagh on my uh, staff. Okay. Oh, Shillelagh on your staff. Um, I think I, that's not a... Yeah, it's a this bonus knoll action. is going to attack. Cool. What is it not? It's not a no, bonus we're action. Good, we're good. No, it is. It's a bonus okay. action, but it's okay. it's not so a this knoll should come up to Animus. Uh, he hits. You take eleven points of piercing damage. You gotta love chat. <laughs> Caleb, did you hear me? Well, I did not know. I was also eleven points of piercing damage. Ah, that's that's not bad. Okay, uh, then this one is going to come over here. Let's see. Two, two. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, I need Animus and Brawn to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 17. Okay. 8. Okay, so Bronn succeeded, Animus failed. Uh, you see the shaman hobble up, and he pulls from his satchel a scroll. Uh, very gross looking, like it's been through a lot. And he unfurls it. And you see uh, him start to chant the words that are written on the scroll. And then up in the sky, you see a glimmer of something and then lightning fast a pillar of flame engulfs the two of you let's see here okay i'm taking some damage here jesus we might want to group back up this is getting dangerous <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we've been we haven't really experienced Jacob really kicking our ass before, and this is really kicking our ass now. No. You guys take eleven points of fire damage. Oh, that ain't bad. And ten points of radiant damage. You say that until I'm like really low on my health. Mr. So you got everybody else. You you see this giant column of fire come down onto the area that you saw Brawn and Animus in. Also, this knoll dies. He gets he said, mata, mata. melted. God. Yeah. He wouldn't have had line of sight, Anzu. Like Zuko's face. I don't know. So how does uh, the, the okay. damage work for that? Because I'm... Both are halved. I, well, I have the evasion. Evasion? Yeah, I'm so if I it. succeed a dex save, it's... Any spell cast on me that I have to make a dex save on, I automatically succeed, and then if I succeed the roll, I take nothing. Oh, well then you would take nothing. Yeah. Well, he said there was fire and then radiant damage, so I'm not sure the spell. When you're yeah. subjected no, you to take no damage. You take okay. no damage from the whole thing, because you... Yeah. Yeah. Since you didn't get hit by the initial beam pretty much at all with your evasion, yeah. then I'm the only one who got hit by it. So fun, super fun, really fun. What's this giant white uh, square, Jacob? Okay. So, Lochnar, you see the blood glows red and then starts to glow a sickly green and the the blood begins to flow out in all directions. It washes over your feet and then 
it forms a square barrier around can, can my jays. Can I, hey, hey, uh, time out, time out. Can yeah. Lochnar try to dilute it with my urine? Uh, no. You can try, but it won't do anything. Reaction piss. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. So. Because he has to go to the bathroom anyway. Trying to and help. he's still raging, so is he screaming at Rage P. <laughs> rage P. It's like it's a, a really beam. strong scream. <laughs> you then, like you then hear. Flat rock. <laughs> and all the gnolls around begin to howl, and you guys hear them all start to leave. No. Scotty beamed That's them good, up. That's good, right? I, I don't think so. Totally. It's all, it's, about to come. Uh, hey, I take complete well, credit for this. That they, was all you me. You guys have as much movement out of there as they do. No, so. no I want an attack of opportunity. <laughs> you don't. You're I'm not all... near any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they begin to what leave. What an attack of opportunity. Uh, we'll say that they all start running, so... Counter spell. You could all, yeah, they all get out of there. Do I get an attack opportunity with this guy next to me, though? Well, yes, you guys, with this one. They wouldn't get out of there without well, you guys also getting out of there in the same time. Fair, it, this, this is like the least of our worries. But yeah, yeah, you also get an attack opportunity. Lockdown doesn't know that. Also, if it's that Null's turn, he has to make a wisdom saving throw from his beard guardians. Okay. Just saying. He fails. It's, okay, cool. 3d8 damage, and then I'll make my attack opportunity. <clears throat> this one's also trying to leave. Oh, yes. Let's go. So, uh, oh, 18 damage on that one null. How much? 18. Okay, and now Two. make Two. your attack of opportunity. Okay, I'll stabby stab him. Stabby stab. That's a natural two. It did not happen. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's hobbling away, but it does <laughs> get forward. Uh, do they have a chance to run out of there? Because technically. Not all those nulls would have made it out even with a dash. Oh, the, okay. So when I said barrier, that was probably the wrong. It's more of like there's like, like, engraving. Well, there's in one green area. dude in the middle, so I think we need to kill him. The like green dude is Lochnar. No, the other. No. that doesn't look like a no. guy. That's a lighter That's green aqua. dude. That's okay. what? I would say like aqua. aquamarine. Get okay, the that fuck one. out of here with your color <laughs> pretentious okay. Uh, Braun and, and uh, Animus, do you get a tax opportunity? With a Don't touch, I had a natural one, but I also had a six. Wait, That's a we 17. have advantage? Or... No, oh, I have you do. Yeah, because your tree thing. Yeah. 17. Animus, did you say a 17? I did, yeah. Get that out of here. That doesn't hit. Yeah. <laughs> you're a uh, tree bird. You get advantage. Main hand was uh, 18 to hit. Okay, you only get to hit with one of the swords. Okay, well, it was an 18 to hit. That does not hit. What? So he begins to hobble away into the forest. What are these jacked up gnolls? For real, dude. Also, they, the, they have crazy armor on. What I'm going to say, the meat cart, air quotes, and the money cart are still there. They weren't able to retrieve those. I was going to say, I w they would not be able to get away that quick with those. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I still right, get my so it's now eerily quiet. I didn't get my attack. I would like. Oh to yeah, go ahead and roll it. Yeah. So is it one? Like if I use Eldritch Blast, I only get one beam. Or... No, you can't All use. Right. A, I don't think you can use you can't spell use attack. It has to be melee. All right. No. Fine. I'll use my maul. Sweep the leg. And it's, it's a twelve. No. Oh. Hit. Um. Get the fuck Hit. out All of right. the square. <laughs> the town is now eerily quiet. A few fires rage. Here, let me... Is that square? Can... Is that all the runes you said? Yeah. Those oh, there's not a fire. Uh, where's That's where's the uh, cart of money? <laughs> yeah, oh, RT, where's the cart of money? Just curious, can I get my power? tower? Please. So, because it's green, uh, money cart. Yeah, it's next okay. to it's red. Braun is going to walk over to that and promptly just Wait, like we should... fall over into it. <laughs> no, <laughs> he just. <laughs> we should probably Can focus I... on the fact that there's a. They all just retreated and there's a giant square yeah. of runes that's yeah. starting to light up before we focus on it. This is all on tactical. Run, the, breath, man. Man. the runes are, gl are glowing with like a faint green energy. I want my tower and I want my cube. Uh, okay, so cube. 
Cube comes back to you, and he's currently, or they currently have, like, a small bone that is still in them as they're, like, <laughs> rolling. Does that mean I have my tower? Uh, Jacob, yeah. can hey, I check okay. to see what's going on with this, um, with this... Sure, roll an arcana check. Uh, can I, can I cast detect magic, uh, and just see what kind of magic's hopping off of it? Mm, hang on. That would be my action for this turn. I don't know how fast. Yeah, why don't we kill the dude? Well, oh, the turn order's over. The turn order's over. Okay. Are we just gonna... doing random stuff? Who oh. has that tree? Okay, I'm gonna cast detect magic. It tells me what kind of magic is coming off of it. So. It tells you what school of magic it is. Yeah, that's what I. That, well, that's what I meant. Like what. Okay, so you magic. know that this is an evocation magic. Okay. Uh, and then Arcana was. Oh, oh, it was a 12, that's what I remember, and then plus 7... Oh, also, Zygon. Um, ever since the barrier has gone up, you've been sick to your stomach, and you're kind of, Terrific. like, dizzy. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh. 19. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's let Zygon do this roll. Okay. Said constitution? Yes. I'm gonna use my Dark One's own luck and add one D10 to mine. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. So you start stumbling around kind of in a daze. Lochnar, you see this. And then you, you cross over the barrier and you no longer feel sick. Yay. How do I feel sick? You're fine. Okay. Can I make my way cool. back and inspect what's well, going on? Do I on? get anything from my Arcana, Jacob? No. Uh, Animus. You've seen these runes before in holy sites. Um, so this is the effect of a hollow spell. Okay. What does oh. that do? Alright, I will read you the description for hollow. Right. Okay. I was so, apparently able to get out of it um, without a problem. You touch a point and infuse an area around it with holy or unholy power. The area can have a radius of up to 60 feet. The spell fails if the radius includes an area already under the effect of a hollow spell. It wasn't. The affected area is subject to the following effects. First, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead can't enter the area, nor can such creatures charm, frighten, or possess creatures within it. Any creature charmed, frightened, or possessed by such a creature is no longer charmed, frightened, or possessed upon entering the area. You can exclude one or more of these uh, those types of creatures from this effect. Again, you can bind an extra effect to the area, which you do not know the effect that is bound to this area. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's the whole thing. Is we and there's just one more effect that's going to happen. Yep, that you don't know what it is. Okay. Well, um, um, we got a money cart. We can just go. Well, you guys don't know about the money cart. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, uh, just chilling. Get me out of here, Lochnar. You hear this bard. <laughs> Guys, uh, I assume there's more of you, unless you're just some crazed, I I mean, uh, uh, noble uh, warrior. Okay, I'm going to walk in that direction of what I just heard. Yes, y yes, you, the tall one. I am talking to you. Oh, so you mean I'm tall? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I mean... I, I didn't even notice you over there. What the hell are you doing well, uh, here, buddy? I try to blend in. Uh, and you... Okay, you do so that very guy, well. He, um... Uh, he's tall, kind of lanky. Uh, you see that his ears are slightly pointed. Um, he's wearing, like... He's wearing a nice, like, uh... Oh, man. It's not, like, a Robin Hood hat. Well, okay, it's very similar to, actually, this model. So if you look, it's like this kind of hat. Like it's like not a cowboy hat, but also not like a Robin Hood hat. Yeah, it's um, Pied Piper. Yeah, it's kind of Pied Pipery. I want to take it uh, off his head see and he's stop wearing it on the like a very, um, very ostentatious gear. Uh, purples and blues and pinks are all over it, uh, and it's it. He looks kind of like a circus performer. It's a cavalier hat. Or something similar. Who are you? Where it's flipped up on one side. Can I ask him who he is? Like, 
No, oh. the Cavaliers don't wear hats unless they're a crown of shame. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Cavies wear it. Though. R.I.P. Bronny. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Spencer. Oh. Hello? This just gets worse. All right. I want to typing in. Yeah, sorry, the, uh, let's let this okay. let's let this dude die. All right, like guys, him. let's kill him. Oh no! Let's kill him. Uh, please. He's right. party. Passing the, through, the trying to make a little extra coin. Uh, and these crazy animals came out of nowhere, and they put me in this dreadful cage. Please. Hey, um, hey that if, is if you let me go, I'll pay you. How much? Ah, uh, well. Uh, <laughs> a, a man does not tell what is in his purse. No, we we know we need to know this because we need to know how much your life is worth. A man does oh, well, not wear I assure a purse. You, man, it is worth many, many money. <laughs> many money. I love um, many money. I need a, me <laughs> need about... money. Me want a lot of money now. Is it miniature money though? Like we don't want miniature money. We want normal oh. money. Uh oh. Well, uh -oh. Goodbye. Uh oh. Nice no, switching back. <laughs> <laughs> I am needing I assure you, money a lot friend, now. I have great sums of money. The, the Spencer family is very wealthy, so if you let me go, then then you will be paid a fortune. <laughs> Not a smart man. But I do know one thing, and carnies are broke as fuck. Make an insight check. <laughs> can I also? Yes, you can also make so an insight check. I have a quick question yeah. while they're making that roll. Uh, do, yes. Do I know if a dispel magic would uh, dispel the hollow? Yes. Can I use that? Uh, hang on. Because <clears throat> I don't know. roll. Nineteen insight. Okay. What What'd you roll, Arkner? A natural twenty. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's lying through his teeth. <laughs> He, he's just saying anything to get you guys to he let him go. Money. No, I assure you, friends, uh, the Spencer estate in Iman is vast with with gold outhouses. Mm. <laughs> We're so rich, our outhouses me, are gold. Why don't you tell me what was going on here? I, Did you see what I they was were just traveling about? through, trying to make a little extra coin. You know, I'm trying to make my own fortune. Don't want to rely on daddy's do. money. So I, I was traveling through, and then these brutes came out of nowhere and started killing everyone. And uh, I only survived because of my daring charm and cowardice. That's great. Cowardice. I didn't ask what you were doing, though. I asked what they were doing. Did oh, I, d I don't know. Magic is not really my uh, in my repertoire. He's a bard. Bullshit. Yeah, freeloading is more <laughs> your your thing, right? Huh? I'm Reloading sorry, is more your thing, speak right? Up. I have trouble hearing sometimes. You have trouble <laughs> telling the truth, his ear too. his drums with his flute. Yeah. <laughs> Solo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spell magic is what you're looking for? Yeah, it, so uh, I have the spell if you want me to read it real quick. Yeah, where? What the heck? So Why is it not? The DC. So for each spell, fourth level or higher, um, make an ability check on your with your spell casting ability. The DC equals ten plus the spell's level. On a successful check, it ends. Obviously, that's pretty much it. Okay. Kind of just like. So, uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. Is it? Do I have to roll? Is it's it... higher than level three. Yeah. Okay. One. Natural nineteen plus. Yeah, that succeeds. Cool. So, uh, Animus, you begin to use Dispel Magic, and you see the runes start to recede away. Sweet. And then it's gone from the area. Uh, so, we're, Zygon, you, uh, Zygon and Animus were also over... Or, sorry, Zygon and Anzu were over on uh, right on the runes also, so they will watch that disappear. Yeah, they see it start to recede out. And I'm going to walk over to Bron and we're going to sit there and look at uh, what's going on with these... Uh, these uh, big old loot piles. All right. Yeah. So as you're scanning the loot, uh, you hear, uh, "Is it? Is it safe? Are they gone?" Uh, and you see, crawling out of uh, the floorboards of one of the houses, is these two uh, little kids. 
Uh, yes, it's, um, it's safe. Uh, are you... Is it just you two? Or you, do you have parents? Uh, yeah, our our dad said that he was going to go out and fight them. Oh. Uh, have you seen him? Uh, Went no. out for a pack of cigarettes? Gonna, uh, Jacob, I'm going to walk over. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to say, oh, no. Um, uh, Bron, can you uh, get some information out of them real quick? And I'm going to walk over to the... Uh, the big dead pile, and I'm gonna take uh, the tarp, like my sleeping mat, out of my um, bag of holding, and I'm gonna throw it over the dead bodies. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Bron's still breathing, kind of heavy after that. Was still laying on the gold cart while all this was happening. He's just like, all right, ugh. forces blood. himself just to get up. Yeah, yeah, that was the That's the no other blood. thing. Is like, uh. <laughs> You know, kind of clean up a little bit. The first thing they see when they come out is two <laughs> two people, a, 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 a tabaxi and um, yeah. a kinku covered in a blood. A bird and a cat, man. Yeah. Covered in blood. Like a tree bird? With like yeah, a, I'm a seven bird foot with, five. With, I'm a bird with some leaves coming off my hair. <laughs> I forgot he was a tree. Tree bird. <laughs> I'm keeping yeah. that on. Oh, it only lasts a minute. It's gone now. Yeah. It'll be over by now because yeah. the dispel magic. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the the kids. Ron will talk to the kids. Okay, so, so it's a young boy, probably around the age of five, and then he's actually, uh, and then next to him is a little girl. She's probably seven or eight. Uh, they both are um, kind of tannish skin, uh, like olive kind of color, uh, mm -hmm. with long, uh, like jet black hair. Well, the boy has like long to like his collar, and then the girl, it's like to the small or like the middle of her back. Okay. Um. Oh, we haven't seen one of you in a long time. Yeah, there's not many of us around here. Yeah, yeah. So, do you uh, do you know what uh, what happened here? Um, and this is the this is the little girl. Uh, the little boy is a little shy. Um. Uh, well, we we were about to have dinner, and then the the town alarm bells went off, and Dad told us to get into the the floorboards, and then he was gone. And we okay. heard we heard a bunch of screaming, and we didn't know what to do. Well, you were very brave to get you and your uh, brother to safety. And uh, I'm not. A little. <laughs> I, I'm not sure about your father. Um, we've. Think they both that, begin. Uh, their tears begin to form in their eyes as you say that. But mm -hmm. there's no other no other uh, knolls around. So let's take a walk through and see if uh, see if we can find him anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> walk up to Bron as I come back from covering the. Uh, the thing. Okay. Um. Ron, let's um maybe if uh, there's still some of the towns left we should talk about how much of this we actually take i know that we fairly won this battle but this town may need a little bit of this gold to restart i am i am saying we do keep some of it though because we definitely <laughs> definitely saved this i mean <laughs> yeah uh he's gonna he's gonna look around and kind of whisper what of the town is left well, that's what I'm saying. You if guys there's... begin to walk around. Most of the buildings are burned to the ground at this point. Um, the kids... The kids are in a shocked state. Mm -hmm. um, but... Braun, you especially pick up on this. There's, like, this feeling of, like... This look on their face is, like, shock, but also a little bit of, like, recognition or, like, prior experience yeah so they they've they have seen something like this before yeah they've seen something like this yeah. before okay. so you begin to look around uh you hear Lochnar and thea talking to another person off in the distance before uh, we make it too far uh i'm gonna answer his question well uh, i guess you're right about that um i will see about the percent that we give them uh depending on how much of the town is left i think uh that's not I'm gonna miss, I need you to make a perception check. Okay. Twenty. Okay. 
So the kids and Braun are walking along, and then you hear off to the side. <coughs> uh, did you and you hear look, that? and in an alley you see a man who's wearing um, kind of Middle Eastern style battle armor. Um, and he's, he's slumped against uh, one of the walls of this alley, and he's bleeding from a very large wound in his side. Okay, before... Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, before I, like, walk over there, I'm gonna say something to Bronn real quick. Um, uh, Bronn, I think I hear Thea and Lochnar up ahead. Maybe get these kids up to the center of this, of this town, and maybe we look around to see how many people are left. I think I hear someone over here, though, so I'm gonna, I'll make my way back through the city this way towards, um, towards the, uh, west side? West side would be what the way the carts were. Uh, towards the west side and uh, uh, tell the rest to look the same way or uh, to look um, in the same way I am so I'm going to make my way over to the guy okay so you go over uh, olive colored skin long black hair uh, and you see a large scimitar next to well not a normal sized scimitar next to I don't know what a large scimitar would be. I mean, like. a scimitar is a large blade to begin with. It is with, very so large. It, anyway. it makes sense to call it a large scimitar because it's a large sword. Anyway, so you see a scimitar off to the side, and he's clutching onto his side. I'm going to use my healing. Very labored breathing. He's a little. My... He's not scared of you, but he acknowledges you're there. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out my healing kit, and I'm going to be like, um. Excuse me, uh, mind if I help you? I'm I'm not an enemy. I uh, we, me and my group were able to dispatch of the gnolls. He doesn't say anything. He just continues to breathe heavy. You uh, make a medicine check. Okay. It's not good. Uh, nine. Nine. Oof. Okay. Uh. By the general area of the wound, you assume something is wrong with at least one of his lungs. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Healing Spirit. Then I'm not even gonna use my, my. Uh... Okay, what does Healing Spirit do? Healing Spirit's a circle that sits. Uh, he's. It's a. So okay, I cast pretty much this image of a fey creature, and within the circle, they gain one d6 per turn, health. Okay. So I'm gonna cast so the, it. So a small. Uh, what looks like a dryad. Um, comes out from the ground. She's made of earth and sticks and limbs and or, uh, and twigs and stuff like that. And you see her just stand over him and uh, her energy is flowing towards him. Thank you, my friend. Uh, you're right. um, can you tell me a little of what happened here? We found a couple uh, children of the town and they almost seemed as if they'd... You found my kids. Oh, Are they okay? Are they your children? Yes. Okay. Um. Just sit here for like maybe a few more mo moments, and you you should be back up to good health to be able to walk. They're uh, moving towards the center of the square. We're gonna gather as many people as we can find. He there. he tries to stand up. He slumps back down. I think uh, I think you're right. Just uh... just a few moments. You can if we if we have this conversation, you should be in good health at the end uh, within the next thirty seconds. I I promise. Thank um, you. Just uh, a couple questions. Uh, is this this isn't the first attack I would assume that you guys have had? We uh, we had attacks before, but never this organized. Uh, they seemed pretty strong. I've never seen a group of gnolls uh, use magic in the way that I'd just seen. We we don't know. All we know is that uh, a few of the tribes seem to have joined together, and. They attacked her. Who knows why? Okay. Um. Well, how about how about this? Uh, you should be able to stand up. Uh, very very shortly here. So, I'm gonna um I'm gonna move myself uh through the town and look for survivors, and you can move to the middle of the city and uh, talk to my allies. Um, I think, with how bad and wounded you were, I might be able to get to some people as quick as possible. So. Uh, I'm gonna move healing. Thank you, my friend. I'm gonna move healing spirit. He with clutches me. his side. You see that it's no longer open, but there's a large bruise, and he starts to. He picks up his sword and sheaths it, and he starts to walk towards the center of the square. Okay. All right. So now back. 
uh, to the center <laughs> of the square. So, Braun, you and the kids have made it up, and there's this very flamboyant colored uh, dressed wise man who's in a cage. Now, I, I assure you that fortune beyond your wildest dreams. Just please let me go. Oh my God. I'm gonna look at Brian and I'm gonna like hold my arm out and be like, "He wants to let him, yeah. let him out." Okay. Yeah. So Don't. when Braun was walking <laughs> away, he wanted uh, to talk to the kids for a minute and be like, "Yeah." Um, because they're he's he's over seven foot tall, so it's gonna be kind of yeah. difficult. They're like to guide them around. The so like two foot seven, and right? The so three five or something. I don't know. He wants. He's know, gonna kid, right? hoist them onto his shoulders. And okay. carry them that way, so they yeah. can, you know, be kids and look around and be, oh, I'm so high. Yeah. <laughs> they both kind of laugh as you put them on your shoulders. That's precious. Okay, can I, like, see what he has on him? Like, Yeah, make a perception outside? check. Or, well, okay, so you can make a perception check or an investigation check. I'll let you do either or. Well, he's in a cage, so I imagine I couldn't investigate him very well. So I'm going to do perception, because I'm better at that anyway. Ooh, natural 19 okay. plus 13. So, you <laughs> so it's see, like 30 something. Uh, on his back is a loot, or at least what used to be a loot has now been smashed. Um, you see in a pocket, like on a loop on his belt to the side, is a flute. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you see um, he has no weapons on him whatsoever. Um but uh, you also see a small uh, pouch that's hanging off his belt uh, on the left side. Does it look like money? It does look like a money pouch. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Would Braun be picking up any, I guess, signals that this guy might be a, a thief of some sort? Or uh, anything like he that? He does not appear to be a thief. Okay. And, he he and appears Lockhart to just... be a bard. Lockhart, he's not a big fan of bards. He doesn't like me. <laughs> can he just run? Nice. Can he just, you know, just casually go up to him and just do. Just. What is... Can he just do that? Do what? Just, I have no just idea. Just casually what you're put the sword up to his throat and then just run it through like uh, like nobody's business. Oh, calm down. No. Uh, I, I just don't like him. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna look at what's his face. It's Nathaniel, right? Mm -hmm. That was his name. Mm -hmm. um, oh, God, I hate that name. I know for a fact you have you you don't have a whole lot of wealth. Give me another reason that I should let you out of here. How do you know that I don't have wealth for a fact? I could just be carrying a light purse. I'm Bronze gonna Nathaniel, hit that jack. I, Kids, do you light. recognize this guy? Oh, that's the funny clown guy that was performing last night. Oh, oh, he's a clown. Even more reason for me to hate him. <laughs> and then he says, I am not a clown. Come on, guys. I am a thespian. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Pretentious clown. You just got to remember he has... Please let me kill him. I just want to kill him. I <laughs> felt bad about the gnolls. I don't feel bad at all about this dude. <laughs> that's not weird at all. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, so as you're approaching him with your sword held out, he says, ah, I didn't want to have to do this, big guy, but you're forcing my hand. And you see, he goes for his flute, he twirls with his fingers, you. and he starts to play. Uh, I need Lochner to make a wisdom save. What are you going to do? Put me to sleep? You're seduced. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast... Come back, I'm going to touch Resistance on him while he, when he does it. You're gonna cast what? Resistance on him so he can add a d4 to a saving throw. Uh, is that a reaction? <laughs> no. Then you wouldn't be able to cast it yeah. in time. I can't ever use that stupid ass <laughs> cantrip. It's it's a planning <laughs> cantrip. So, yeah. Lockhart, what'd you roll? See, this is how little I, I think of this man. What'd you roll? Oh, he's lagging hardcore. Lag. Corey, yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. I'm here. Eighteen. Am I lagging? No, you're yeah. just a little. You're your, fine. Uh, yeah, your video is, but we can hear you. Yeah, I am too. It's it's whatever. Yeah. Media okay. calm. 
<laughs> so, it watching. Uh, as you're getting close, you hear this tune. And for a second, you, you kind of slow. And it's it's a really nice, it's a really nice melody, you know. But then you're just like, nah, I'm not like going to do that. So you get closer. It sounds like I need you to make a... Telling. I need you to make an attack roll uh, with advantage. Against who? <laughs> He's trying to. Also, kill me. Uh, Thea and Braun, what are your alignments? Uh, chaotic good. Okay. <laughs> uh, same. Okay, I don't know how well you guys would handle Lochnar attacking a dude who has done nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've it, The problem is Braun has kids on his shoulders okay. right now. Yeah. I didn't know. Is, so he's attacking the guy? Is that That's what I was wondering. He's trying okay, to cut I'm his gonna, throat. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna... 16. Like, shoving uh, the sword in the cage? 16 does not hit. <laughs> Thank god. Oh, no, oh, wait. No, no. No, no. This is... Like you said roll for damage, right? No, I said roll attack. Or roll to see if I, you hit. I, yeah, fuck. So he squirms out of the way. He actually blocks your blade with the okay, uh, twenty. <laughs> okay. Twenty. I'm gonna go. Up to, um... <laughs> not natural twenty, just a twenty. You rolled a twenty. Yeah, a not a natural. Yeah, 20. that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Well, at the first <laughs> chance Braun gets, he's going to try and set the kids down as quickly as possible. Not dropping oh, them, but yeah, like uh, grabbing by the collar and. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Twenty. I'm gonna walk up in front of Lachnar and damage. like. <laughs> okay. Twenty four so is my damage. He kind of wriggles out of the way, but you, you're sticking a sword through a cage, so it's not a great moan, moonsum, but you're strong enough that you kind of stab him and, uh, you do some damage to him. God damn it. Uh, would anyone <laughs> care to stop this ruffian, please? Um I'm gonna walk oh, up in front of Lockhart's chest back. I'm gonna like try and push him and like in you know backwards. It's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Okay, uh, I need you two to. Both yeah, I know you're back. a good person, and you 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 you're, you're a very good person. But let me just be a bad person here. <laughs> let her stop it. Let it happen. It was a natural. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it happened. It was One less bard in the world, and we're better <laughs> off. So, Bra uh, well, that's just rude, sir. That's just rude. hates Bra uh, bars that's just your opinions. God damn it. So, I'm I'm sorry. Five. five. Yeah. It's a good. We would have gotten to the like stage with Vanilla if she were here. To shove something. It's just like not moving. <laughs> you just heal the that's guy. That's exactly too. what I was hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. So, then I'm going to cast um, Healing Word. So, we're just and... stabbing him and healing him? Well, yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, that's, that's not a bad way to now see if he'll actually be serious. It was a four, so that's good. So four plus five, he heals nine hit points. Oh, all right. And then I'm going to, can I, uh, or I can, I'll tell Bron to unlock the cage. <laughs> can you unlock the cage? Bron? Yeah, can you can I use intimidation on Bron? Stuff. <clears throat> you can, you hey, can try can I use intimidation on Bron? Bron? Cause I, I can what? I have plus five on on intimidation. I'm pretty sure he's also yeah. one of your allies, though. So I don't know if intimidation is going to work on him. Well, besides that, <laughs> no. he just murdered died. a bunch of people. Died. I don't know how intimidating died. you can be. Uh, Jacob, can I make a note real quick while they're doing this? I'm walking yeah. around the west side of the city and just healing people that I see as I go. How yeah, many you people... find about you find about ten people, and then I'm gonna I'm sending them back as I heal them. So like that will yeah. they'll start uh, accumulating, and Trickling I'm making in. my way to that that one. Um, since he used a sleep spell on me, I'm going back to that one cart or the two carts, I guess, next to each other. I also have detect magic on as I walk. Uh, no, those people are dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they're all dead. I'll go up to the gold cart and I'll start looking at it, but we can check that in a sec. At least a little bit of our karma is, you know, doing okay. My hey, mine's I, bringing us all down, but we got one I guy go doing to the okay. Middle and see what everyone's doing. Or... Yeah. <laughs> so you see Lochnar stabbing a dude. <laughs> then I push him. Um, I try Lachnar, to. what are you doing? So. 
As Lochnar is going for another swing, Thea's pushing him back. You see Cube jump off Anzu's shoulder and actually envelop Lochnar. <laughs> uh, Lochnar, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. What a good boy. This is not Cube what I want. Day. How many times do I have to say it? Dude, is, is Lochnar going to go evil here? Jesus. Five. Yeah, I'm like, Five? It's just chaotic it's, neutral. It's, it's Yeah, chaotic for sure. He's yeah. chaotic okay. neutral. So, he doesn't Lockhart, like bars. Um, they're, they're... You start to get a really, really, really bad headache. And then Cube, like, off of you and standing in front of you is you, but Cube form. And <laughs> just arms crossed, just doing this. <laughs> hey, Cube's a bouncer now. You're a sexy I wonder if Cube's ever going to get a voice or if Cube's You're just, like, always going to be, like, mute. Cube works better well, than you. No. Well, Q Cube also sometimes talks in Lochnar voice. So, uh, as that's going on, I'm going to look at this. Cube lock does sometimes and talk. And um, I will cast Knock. You will cast what? Knock. Okay. To open the cage? Uh, to get the lock off, yeah. Yeah, so the lock falls off, the cage opens. Oh, finally, rational people and <laughs> Jello. Well, uh, I'm gonna you. grab him. Oh, yeah, uh, gonna... <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Who are you and why are you in a cage? Uh, I, I've told your friends this many for times. A reason, dude. I am a That's traveling to performer mm -hmm. looking for coin on my way to Iman. Uh... And I was attacked and put in a cage and then stabbed by him. So, out of everyone in the reason. city, they chose to lock you up. Well, oh no, there were others, and you look, and there's a cage, and oh. there were people that had been used for the blood ritual. Okay, so Bron, uh, Bron's gonna talk to him real quick. There's um, people walking up also. There's like some more. Like yeah, the, there, there's the, a small group starting to gather. There's the father people of the parents walks happy up. Happy to see each other. The kids. And uh, he's gonna say, "Okay, time for honesty. What are you doing here in a cage in a village being attacked?" by Knowles out here in the open. What well, am a traveling performer? <laughs> traveling performer is still just getting He's locked up for no good reason. Okay, Everybody okay. else here was killed. I don't know what that. they were doing. <laughs> I was just last in the line, I guess. Can I do an inside check? I'll just do an inside yeah. check. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, he's a liar. <laughs> I feel like everyone's well, doubting him I'm, too much, and he's really just like a dude trying to make a living right now. Yeah, I'm gonna also try see. and use persuasion. Fourteen. Cause... I use intimidation. <laughs> you technically could, but it's not your time. So, right now. That's a twenty-two. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, he is telling a partial truth. There is exactly. something in there that okay. is. Not 100%, but he is, Again. he is a traveling performer. He is looking for coin. He is going he to He is a he. I'm, I'm going to press Rose's thorn to him, a needle point to his back, and again I'm say... You guys are assaulting random NPCs. It's, it, it, I'm not <laughs> assaulting. It, man. It's, it's very suspicious uh, for uh, him to not be attacked in the middle of this. But anyway, I have no reason to hurt you or kill you, but... It's extremely suspicious that in this these circumstances you were put in a cage. So if you are honest, it was very weird. And tell us why you were put in the cage. They then you can go for free. From what I know, free. they needed blood. To be completely frank, and they thought I had some. Uh, wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> well, you they do have right. blood. You do have blood, and it's on my sword now. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, what is your name? My name, mm -hmm. good sir, reasonable sir, mm -hmm. smaller sir, mm -hmm. is Nathaniel <laughs> Spencer. Mm, okay, Nathaniel. Now, I am a previous professor. Right? I've dealt with... Oh, yes, I could tell that you were intelligent. Oh, yes, so I know you're telling a part of the truth. Why don't you just say whatever it is that you're lying about? And where did you go? Oh, kind of looks Jacob. at you. Oh, there you go. A little worried. Uh, 
I've I've told you the whole truth. Look, if you there. worked at a brothel before, I'm not gonna hunt you down on it. Just tell the truth. Oh no 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 no. Mm -hmm. I have <laughs> friends that have no judgment, but mm -hmm. I don't. You still haven't told the truth. You're judging by the by the manner in which you use those words. You're judging them. I do not take <laughs> morality lessons from a stabber. <laughs> um. Now. What I have told you is true. All do you I want to take do make extra coin, lessons from Stepper? Just making extra coin from from world weary villagers who needed a little bit of entertainment in their lives. Oh, he's using them. <laughs> he's casting spells on them as he does it. Okay. Now here, and he pulls out the small pouch of money. <laughs> he hands it to you. Now. Thank you all. You've been a wonderful audience, uh, but I have another show to get to, so I will see you all, hopefully never, especially you, large man. And he starts walking off. Mm -hmm. And as he walks away, yeah. Rocknar grabs him by the scruff of the neck oh and brings uh, him right back into the center of the group. <laughs> yeah, Bron Bronze Blade isn't uh, pressed against him anymore either. He handed the money to Anzu? Yeah. How much is it? Uh, I want to look in it while it's in his hand. <laughs> okay. I want to look in the pouch. <laughs> Make sure that it's not mini money. We don't want any of that stuff. Mini money. <laughs> we mini want normal-sized money. So. Uh, <laughs> so. Jeez. Uh, so, Lochnar, as you go to grab him, you see this small shimmering around as he walks through and is gone. Counterspell. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> Do it, <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Jacob's gonna kill you. It's a 20. <laughs> so the shimmering occurs. You just flick a finger and then he like uh... <laughs> God. Uh, Nathaniel hold, hold for a moment um, who, who did he give the gold to? Anzu, Anzu. Anzu. so to I'm like... gonna <clears throat> see if I can get the gold from Anzu and say since you're you're a bard and you like to travel and I tell am stories a... Theatrical performer, sir. Bard <laughs> to <clears throat> minimal. He's even worse than a what? bard. He's just more annoying. What do you perform? He's just fake. I perform theater. Yeah. He just looks the... off into the distance. Oh, he's an actor. <laughs> yeah. He's a... And small musical performances. <laughs> He's just a renaissance man, huh? I don't really know what to think about you. Thank you. I, I like to think myself what, a renaissance man. What do you say to Our keeping character. your your gold? Because <laughs> we have no particular need for it. And instead... <laughs> well, we, I won't say we, we ha there's, there's plenty to go around. Don't worry about that. Um, what do you say about instead spreading the name of the Flagon Slayers? <laughs> oh, I'm not usually a storyteller, but I think I'll well, take a crack at it. You don't have to tell a story besides the fact that we saved your skin here. Oh, and yes. The, the tale of Nathaniel Spencer and the Flagon Slayers uh, will uh, be told mm -hmm. throughout the land. I'm sorry, Nathaniel. No, no, no. How about just the Flagon Slayers? Yeah, you're misunderstanding. Flagon Slayers, Nathaniel Spencer. How about Flagon Slayers and the saving of Nathaniel? Oh, there's a good performance waiting to happen. Make a check. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, well, you don't no, get it. I'm it. using intimidation. Persuasion? Or... Yeah. Okay, let me see what that is. Uh, charisma. I'm not that good at charisma. Eh, um, I only got a 15. I got a... He's 20. a bard. Oh, you got a 20? Shit. Yeah. Bard's a talk Or, uh, bard's um, a talker. You know what? Fine. Um, but as a as a gesture of good faith, 
I will give you the gold as long as that one, and he points to Lochnar, doesn't get any. He is still coming back. Uh, 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 could this you, one. Use intimidation. Uh, excuse me, uh, Bron, Bron knows that there's a cart of gold that isn't his that we can share with Lochnar, just so that Bron yeah. knows that he can yeah. say that I, I, I know, that's why I said there's plenty. How much How much gold did he give me? Just uh, you have not opened it yet. Like, yeah, yeah, hey, really? Uh, I'll open it. it. Let, let, me, let me just... <laughs> I'm twenty gold. See this dude. Twenty gold. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put. He won't be tasty. I'm gonna but, put. You know, he'll be immune. Five extra gold in there. I'm gonna give it back to him. I'm gonna say, make sure it's a grand story you tell about us. Mwah. Oh. Well, <laughs> let me tell and... you. When Nathaniel Spencer tells a tale, <laughs> it uh, is. And the tale is. Spectacular. What is the tale? Uh, the flagon slayers. And. And. The saving of this town. What's mm. the name of the town again? And I don't know if you, ever you guys don't know. <laughs> the, the kids are there though. Uh, it's it's called Armonville. I'm gonna put my hand <laughs> on Nathaniel's knee, or like. And he says that doesn't really have a good ring to it, but I'll work on it. I'm gonna put my <laughs> hand on his leg and just be like, I've taught many people before, Nathaniel. You're gonna go to great places. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> May I please go? <laughs> Goodbye, Let Nathaniel. Go. Oh, I shot his head off. <laughs> no. And then <laughs> I'll walk off. Okay, he starts yeah. to walk away. You guys see another and... dimension door form. Counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm going to look at him and be like, don't touch people in my leg. <laughs> <laughs> He's not tall enough. He's not tall enough to trade people. And I have the opportunity to kill the bard in the future. Please let it happen. We're going. <laughs> hey, we're going to Amon after we go to Terra. So yes. Oh my god. Right, I'm, I'm going. I'm just going to massacre some bards when I get there to just let out some steam. Okay, let's go yeah, get the gold. Get in jail, and then you'll be executed for murdering bards. Uh, that's what if we break him right? out? Uh, Lockmore, the Bard Slayer. Also, uh, Bra, I told, I told Bron to tell the others to start looking through the town for survivors. Yeah. So, uh, an Bron older man, long mustache, kind of short, but he's human. Well, thank you for uh, saving this town. We're, uh, we don't have much, but. Uh, if if we can compensate you in any way that that we would we would be happy. Jacob, what I'm is gonna... your name, sir? Uh, my name is Gustav. Gustav. I am so sorry about what happened here. All we require in payment is that you tell our story, the story of the flagon slayers. Will you do that, Gustav? Make a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, sure. I need to see where that is. Jacob, what am I finding in this pile? It's just kind of gold and like. It's just stuff. all money. <laughs> like, there's like, it's not a lot either. It's like oh, silver no. and bronze mainly. There's no, there's like very little gold in it. Okay. I got a natural one. <laughs> oh no. Um. Well, uh, we would, we we'll, we don't get out much, but uh, if anyone comes by, we'll we'll be sure to share your story. <laughs> when you when you say you don't have much. What do you mean? Well, um, <laughs> we're, we're very isolated, as you know. I don't even know how you found us, but thank the Dawn uh, Father you did. Um, fire and gnolls shooting at us from the road. Uh, well, um, if that's what it takes to get you here, I, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> but uh, I know that this town thanks you, and um, we, we, uh, don't really have any money because they uh, took it all. But uh, how heavy is the cart? Because I've been I've been <laughs> out there for a while. I want to see if I would be able to make my way back with this cart. With the cart? Yeah, you could bring it back. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna if you start. Turned into like if you turn into like a horse or something. Uh I'll turn yeah. into uh I'll turn into um something horse. more fun than a horse. <laughs> Can I just walk over and help him? No, oh, well, yeah. you'd, you'd have Fuck to, bear. You'd have Fuck to bear. hitch him up. I'm pretty far away right now. Yeah, that's the issue. I'm going to go ahead and turn into... 
What's a big ant? Can yeah, I turn into like a, a big bear, monkey? Like a uh, or owl bear, whatever they are. I'll turn into a bear. I'll just turn into a grizzly bear and like okay. a brown bear, and I'll walk. I'll walk it up. Can I? Uh, I want to look bear at Gustav, up. and I want to be like, so uh, Gustav, do you have any um <laughs> winches? <laughs> Oh, no. that's, that's a bad place to be trolling for winches. And rice, dude. Uh, we're a farming community, sir. Ask um, for food. We do not. We need fresh food. We don't have. We have very little fresh food. Oh no, I'm 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 sorry. Not not, not winches. I meant um um wheat, wheat. You know, like um. You have any bars that I can eat? Not the same. Or babies? No, uh, <laughs> we don't have any bards you can eat. Um, <laughs> I don't want to eat everything. But yes, we do have. We we could give you some fresh produce as long as the storehouse was not. I thought destroyed. he was gonna say whores. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna at this time. I'm gonna at this time enter into the. I'd into rather the, eat a bard though. They deserve it. Bards say, deserve it. We don't have any witches, but we have some whores. <laughs> I'm gonna That's the class here. The gold bag. Yeah. Everybody sees this like giant bear. The kids, oh, oh, and then you turn back into. I also, oh, I wanted to count it before I came over because I had a lot of time over there. Yeah, so it is <laughs> two thousand copper, a yeah. hundred, uh, or like a thousand silver, and then like twenty gold. It's not a lot of gold. Uh, I'm gonna so big pile of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna take the silver. I'm gonna walk up. Um, You're gonna take a thousand pieces of silver out of a cart. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna. That say, would take you like an hour. I'm gonna say that that's what I want to do. <laughs> you know what? Fuck the silver. What? Well, so I'm gonna walk up. I'm just walk. <laughs> just, just let me let me have a conversation with everyone before I just decide what we're doing with this money. <sighs> oh, thank you, um, sir. I, I could have sworn that would, they would he over. know or would he just think it's a bear carrying yeah well, well I, no he turned <laughs> back into himself yeah so i'm gonna turn oh, i'm gonna okay. turn to myself as i walk up and i'm scaring a little bit some people i would assume and i'm just gonna turn back into myself and be like oh, well i <laughs> definitely couldn't bring that over here uh, on my own so i i had to use the rest of my energy of the day to be able to bring this over but um Maybe, uh, there's not much in here, you guys. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, the rest of my group, not the town. There's not it much in here, guys. They, uh, they are a pretty poor community. Um, with, uh, payment, I would assume maybe we just ask for resources instead of money, because this, they're gonna need this and more to rebuild this town. Animus, I'm sorry, yeah. But we did. I asked for whores, and uh, they didn't have any. Okay. <laughs> Valuable resources. <laughs> Uh, did Andrew, you ask, I understand um, the temptation. Don't worry, but calm down. Um, also, I can create food and water, so we don't really need okay, resources. Yeah. yeah. So um, I can just do it tomorrow. If it's all the same, I'd like to maybe stay and, and help them rebuild at least the basics for, you know, the next day or two mm -hmm. and help us yeah. recuperate because that was uh, pretty exhausting. As someone who is lawful good, I will go around and this use press kind of a behind the scenes, to help clean things up. Uh, thing. But here. while they're repairing the village, Animus, yeah. you can go to Terra. I can say that. How far out of Terra are you going to say we are? About a day. A day out. Um, you I can fly. I can fly to Terra as a as an eagle. Since I, if you guys aren't going to come with me. Isn't that some like uh, it's a site specifically for druids or something, isn't it? Yeah, that you're going to. But I well, can have you guys meet me there and tell them that they're that you're coming. Or, or do you uh, want yeah, like one person uh, with you just in case? Like, I, I go with you. I was gonna say, how about yeah, we do this? How about everyone who's good stays, everyone <laughs> neutral or evil goes <laughs> with. Jacob, yeah, uh, half the party. Jacob, uh, <laughs> since since Bye, we're bitch. gonna, I I so since we're almost we're pretty much on time right now. Um, since next week we're planning on doing Saturday for my vision quest, right? Yeah, what we're planning on doing. Okay. Uh, how about we just say, 
for just for the sake of time, we all stay around for two days, help them rebuild a little bit, maybe get a message out to Western or something. Um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have them stay and you go. No, I oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. For well, story reasons. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna t uh, okay. Let's let's get back into character real quick. Do that. Let's get back into character real quick, and I, we'll see what happens here. <sighs> okay. Um. Enzu, uh, you want us? Mm. You want to stay and help, right? No, yeah, well, why not? I mean, I have nothing better to do. Plus, <sighs> it makes me kind of sad, you know. Yeah. They have no whores. <laughs> they have no houses. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I just feel so sorry for them. To be fine all my life, but you know, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, man. I can. Uh... It'll build character. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, uh, what's the old man's name? Gustav. Gustav. Um, Gustav, uh, do you yes. have any way to get a message down to, uh, are we closer to Western or Amon? No. I do. Uh, the closest <laughs> major city that you guys are near is... Pull it up. <laughs> the closest major city you guys are near is Craghammer. Oh, okay. And so we know nobody in Craghammer, I would assume. So yeah, you know no one in Craghammer. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Gustav, is there any way you can get uh, a message His over to... His fucking name is Gustav. Craghammer. <laughs> uh, for help. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you because of Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any way you can get a message to Craghammer, uh, for... to send help for your village? I think a couple of my, um... Yes, we could... We could. Um, we would probably ask for help from Kaimal, though. Um, okay. Dwarven cities aren't big on helping uh, uh, human e gentlemen. Either way, as long as there's a way, uh, I think a couple of us may want to stay around for a couple of days to help just at least get some... His eyes out. light up. Oh, uh, we would be so grateful. Um, but if, if you want to stay and help us, we would... We couldn't... Uh, we would be grateful. Well, I I may uh, I may keep moving because I don't want to hold up my group and uh, being able to help make a name for ourselves. <laughs> there is a there is a, a name, uh, the Flag and Slayers that we are going by, and we want to make sure that people understand we're here to help. So I'm gonna let them stick around, um, and I may move north to Terra, uh, and let them join up with me. Um, in a he looks a little days. curious when you say Terra. He's never heard of that. Place oh, before. Is, wait. Oh, is Terra something people know very much? No, it's not. It's no. secretive. Okay. I'm gonna Terra is a secretive. Zephra is known. Terra is not. Okay. Uh I'm making my way north just to a small settlement and uh I'll have them join me up there in a couple days, um, but they can stick around and help uh for a couple days if, if uh if He holds succeed. out his hand. Big meaty hand. Really well worn. <laughs> it's like it's like pieces of leather, his hands. Mm -hmm. We would be so grateful. All right, thank you so much um, <laughs> uh, for uh, being able to allow us to make a name for ourselves here, and uh, I, I assure you they will be able to sit and help you. Um, I'm going to shake his hand, turn to the group. Um, well, I, I think I'm going to be okay if you guys want to meet me up there in a, a day or so, uh, make your way up there. So, uh, if, if anyone does want to come with me, I would assume they would uh, allow you to to come, but I'll, I'll make sure they know you're coming if, if you all stay here. Is there anyone you want to take with you? Um, well, if we can if, all just stay. Well, if we look at, the, if we look at uh, who may be needed here, I would assume Lochnar is going to be needed for his strength. You may be needed for your healing. I'm not gonna want to help though. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, they're not the all bards. Are gone, yeah, the Lock bards Nard. are gone. We have cube for Lochnar. Cube can just. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't like helping in general, you know, unless there's you know, lots of alcohol involved with it. Uh, I pour I pour Lochnar um, a, <laughs> a big glass of that liquor. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hand it. Oh to no, we might need that. I'm gonna be like Lochnar. They're gonna need your strength here. I promise. Um, I'll think about it. And Zoo, they may need uh, your But I don't spells. think much. Let's convince him after he's had a drink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
does anyone want to come with me? Uh, you, it's obviously your choice. I would assume you meet me in a day or two, though, um, after you fin after word gets out to the nearest city to, to send as, their troops in. As long as I get to see it and uh, explore a little, I'm good. Oh, we we won't leave right away, but uh, I just uh, I don't know how f how much um, druid communities are not the biggest fan of uh, outsiders um, understanding like how much power is within. So. Uh, and I, I have no, not too much knowledge of Terra, so we'll have to see. Um, but once I get there, uh, I'll, I'll tell them you're coming, for sure. Well, Animus, I'm going to miss you, and the best advice I have is to keep your dick out of a mimic. Uh, <laughs> no, give him a good old hug. Wait, what's the anatomy of a I don't care, and I'm just going to give him a hug back. <laughs> I... Well, uh, thank you, Anzu. Um, oh, Gustav, also, make sure when you send word, tell them there's also more powerful gnolls uh, joining up Oh, here don't worry, we're not going to leave that out. <laughs> yeah. You may want to have uh, a troop sent up here, maybe a, even a small army to investigate how powerful this is becoming. We will take that under consideration. All right, um... Well, uh, are you all staying here to help? Mm-hmm. I guess. Unless you need help. Uh, I should I should be okay on my travels up. There's uh, It's mostly just a mountain path from here, and I, I do have my... What time is it, Jacob? Uh, it's probably about 8 at night. Okay. Yeah, um, you might want to rest here for the uh, night. Yeah, I'll rest here for the night, uh, gain my strength, and in the morning uh, I'll leave. Cool. All right. And that will be how we end tonight's session. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, hope to see you on Tuesday. And it'll be at 6. It'll be the same time as when this starts, hopefully, barring technical problems. But uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good